Return to your scheduled programming shortly, or we are currently experiencing technical difficulty. What is going on YouTube? Michael J. Crawford, the anti trucker here. And good news, bad news. The good news is Captain Foley is actually joining us live tonight. Hey guys. The bad news is he's a poor substitute for Mrs. Anti Trekker, but she couldn't be here tonight. So, uh oh, audio. We're having audio problems. Uh, let me see. Are you able to hear it at all? Okay. The bad news me? is he's a poor substitute for Mrs. Anti Oh, it sounds horrible. Oh, man. Uh, let me take a look. Yeah, I, I hear the sound sounds horrible. Let me check. I think I know what's going on. Give me just a minute. Captain Foley, keep him busy for a second. Uh, oh, actually, first of all, Thomas Pops throws four ninety nine into the chat. Thank you so much, Thomas. And uh, just for that, he wants Uber chat number four, so you're going to get it. So I'm going to go in there, and then Captain Foley will keep you busy while I'm messing with my audio server. So hold on as we get good old Uber chats. Well, um, all right. Well, let's beam down to the planet. Um, energize, Mr. Scott. Hi, Captain. <laughs> Welcome aboard the USS Discovery. There's got to be some kind of other universe, right? Please, send me back. Oh, my God, send me back. I beg you, no, send me back. Oh. All right, and of course, now I got, like, okay, let's switch windows. There we go. All right, so, uh, no. The other nerd sounds fine, so Captain Foley, they say you sound good. Well, so. I look good as well, so that's fine. Um, <laughs> Hi, guys. Yeah. Okay. So, let's see. Don't forget you're sharing your screen so we can see that. So hopefully the sound just improved. So if it did, we'll find out in about 30 seconds here. Hi, creepy Joker Foley says Josh Street. Now I know he was on your stream earlier. Yes, he was. Hello, guys. <laughs> this is going to be interesting, so, this live stream, for sure. I'll try not to interrupt you too much. I'll just pretend like I'm watching. What if people have questions? You okay. Know? Cool. So, yeah, the, so I'm getting a couple of people said the sound went mono. Other people said it sounds better. That's probably going to be the best that I can do for right now. And it's all Captain Foley's fault because uh, I actually haven't used Skype in years. And, of course, Skype has completely changed. And so I had to install and set up a new Skype account today so that uh, I could get on a Skype call with Captain Foley earlier today, which we had a lot of fun talking about the Borg, but apparently we're not going to be able to see that video for like a month. We have videos pre-made for a month. You know, we've got a queue built up, so deal with it. Yeah. <laughs> so, I have not... As, oh, so this first uh, mini-episode of Discovery come out? Yes, it was out tonight at 9 o'clock, and I watched it, and... How uh, was it? By, by the way, I'm having a quick drink of some Kentucky bourbon, thanks to Reality Strikes for the bourbon, but you go ahead, give me your, your two-minute review. It was the absolute dumbest thing I've ever seen on a television screen. And I absolutely love Tilly. I thought there were some funny moments in it, but overall it was just the dumbest thing I'd ever seen. I need to rewatch it a couple times because maybe I missed something, but it was just not anything great, put it that way. Hmm. That is... Now, okay... Let me ask you this. How would you compare it 
to Discovery, not Star Trek, but just Discovery as a whole? Uh, well, it's worse than most of the Discovery that I uh, I saw, anyway. <laughs> um, but you don't hate Discovery. Like I don't. I, I don't hate so it. No, um, I hate aspects of it. This episode mm-hmm. was just dumb. Dumb. Yeah. yeah. So we're no, we're not going to have a con off today. <laughs> you are, I believe me, the con con is a coming. And yes, the three D printer came. However, I, man, this thing is a beast, and I've been working on putting it together. Let me kind of give you a quick comparison. Since uh, let me switch to my other webcam as Captain Foley is working on getting drunk, which will make for a really great show. Right. So. Here we can see the the printer I've been using. Uh, it's currently printing the Enterprise C. Hopefully, it will be done soon. And, and by the way, guys, I know the audio is a little bit off. There's nothing I can really do about that tonight. I apologize. It's Captain Foley's fault. Um, so I'm going to grab the webcam here. All right. So kind of give you an idea of the size of it now. Let's move the webcam to this monstrosity is four times the size. Wow. Look at the look at the plate there that the blue area that it's printing on compared to that. And the other one is like further away to get it's just crazy. Um so yeah, it is an absolute beast. And I'm looking forward to getting it working, but it's going to take a little bit of effort to get it working. Reality Strikes throws 10 bucks into the chat, says shots for Trek Yards and Anti-Trekker. And he, and so, absolutely. And so, now, the first shot was the good stuff that you gave me, Reality, but now I'm going to stick with some Romney on Ale because I want that good stuff that you gave me to, to last. So, thank you, Reality. I truly do appreciate it, as thank does you. Captain yes. Foley, because he loves drinking. We've got, I've got Crown Royal probably can't see that so great but it says trek yards edition captain stewart foley signature vintage yeah I'm, I'm insanely jealous so i hope you had a lot of that crown royal because <sighs> reality wants to make us watch this i may have a shit. it's not clean repeat i do not have a clean shit. take the bloody shit. Now that we've we've gotten through that and hopefully you've all survived, a couple of quick things. First of all, uh, Josh says that the audio stream is off because they want to miss his anti-trekker and they got Captain Foley. I, I totally sympathize. 
I, 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 Captain Foley's a nice guy, but yes, Mrs. Anti Trekker is way better. Well, Mrs. Anti Trekker and um, Sylvia should do a video together then. I think people would enjoy that. Well, there we go. She's actually working on. Uh, I don't know. Do you like horror movies at all? Yeah. I'm, I don't seek them out at the theater or anything, but yeah, I do enjoy them. Okay. Uh, Mrs. Anti Trekker is actually working on a full review for my channel on the Hellraiser book versus movie. Oh, really? Wow. Yes, so we're going to try to get that out for Halloween. Um, also, now, uh, Mr. Captain wants to know, do you like Airwolf? That's a dumb question. Of course I like Airwolf. Airwolf is awesome. <laughs> well, there you go. Uh, now, uh, and Ty says that Mega Chat number one is far better than the mini episode of Discovery. Now, <laughs> since I haven't seen it yet, oh. what do you think, Captain? Uh... <clears throat> More Reloaded, Dancing Naked, or the the episode of Discovery that you watched earlier today? Well, I prefer Tilly, personally, and there's some nice, cute Tilly moments in this, so I'm going to have to pick Discovery, unfortunately. If you could ignore everything else <laughs> that happens around Tilly, she's got some funny lines, but yeah. I'm a All sucker right. for redheads, what can I say? But i got to ask you, with that Lore Reloaded video, I've noticed before the blower goes on, he says something. What is he saying? Yes. Uh, we were to actually, it was, it was just really poor editing on my part. While we were setting up the shot, I was talking to him about, okay, get ready. This is going to be a blast of the face. And he was, I don't remember exactly what he said, but he was just like, okay, go ahead. I'm ready. That kind of oh. thing. But I was, but I needed a little more footage there. So I ended up using part of that. Um, Trollita's in the house says, hail, uh, I, I, or hi, one of the two. It's H-A-I, Mr. Anti-Trekker. Good to see you. Needs more lore bell. <laughs> okay. so two things that i want to get into real quick is that first of all today is october 4th my least favorite day of the year from now on starting last october 4th and just like 9 9 11 is a day that americans uh you know kind of really feel it because of the terrorist attack in 2001 in canada pretty much every day it feels like that um but it, for me, yes, Mr. Captain, you nailed it. It is CBS Day. On this day, one year ago, CBS blocked worldwide my first video on this channel. And I still have the video in my, in, in my video manager just to remind me of what a bunch of dicks CBS really is. And while I know that Captain Foley would agree with me that we both love Star Trek... But that doesn't mean that the company that owns it is a good company. I would totally agree. Um, with that. So, what what are your thoughts on CBS? I mean, I, I I I don't know if you've had any dealings with them. I assume you've gotten nailed by them at least a couple of once times. or twice. Yeah. Um, well, the the latest thing with Stage Nine really pissed me off, literally, because um, CBS they're like a snake in the grass. You know, they you don't see them. They strike and then they slither away as you're lying there dying. Uh, they need to come out and publicly say, look, we're, we felt bad about it, but we have Ubi, Ubisoft working on an, another VR thing right now. So we, mm -hmm. we, they need to explain themselves instead of hiding behind their lawyers and being a faceless company. I've got a little bit of a problem with CBS. They have a real stick up their ass lately. And I'm mm -hmm. probably going to check your I'm not going to exist next week because of this live video. But Probably, um, yes. But anyway, um, so yeah, I... Or at least all your CBS shilling money will be going. Oh, away. yes, I know. The Lamborghini's arriving soon, so. Oh, well, there you go. So, and Jaeger Bomb throws five bucks into the chat, says, How about you convince Lore to go to a life of prostitution? Speaking of, can I see Cheap Bleach? Hope CBS doesn't block that one. Well, fortunately, CBS can't block that one because, well, I don't know. Who did Law & Order? Was that CBS? That wasn't CBS, I have was no it? No idea. All right, yeah, I don't know. Because it does feature a law and or order. Clip, hey, you want to learn about Jesus? There's no such thing as hooker client confidentiality. So <laughs> I do love that. Short and sweet. That is the name of that one. Um, 12 7 1941, a day that will Im uh, live in infamy. Not as much as 10 4. 2017 well, at least not for me um 
Uh, Trolita puts nine ninety nine into the chat, which tells me that Trolita is on an Apple device. I don't know if you know about that, but Apple devices, the super chats always end with ninety nine well, cents. Well, that's why when uh, I do donate to your super chat, it's like two forty nine and stupid amounts like that because I have an Apple phone. All right. Yeah. And so you heard it. Trek Yards officially buys crappy phones. Um, so, so, but Trolita says CBS sucks dicks and wants to see the Trump cartoons. Well, I don't really. Okay, I need you to clarify on that because I have two videos that feature Trump. One, but well, one of them features Trump directly, but it's not a cartoon. The other one doesn't have Trump in it, but they mention him, and that's the the one from the Meanwhile in the eighties. So, do you want to see the Trump role? Or meanwhile, uh, in the '80s, so you let me know, truly. Or do you want? Well, you threw 9.99 in, so I'm going to go ahead and give you both. And but before that, I see that Captain Redneck is here. Good to see you, Captain. And by the way, Captain Foley, just so you know, we have a tradition when Captain Redneck comes in, and that is we have to say, "Ooh, Captain Redneck is on the bridge." So. Uh, and that is the lovely voice of Mrs. Anti-Trekker, in case you're wondering. Um, so, let's say, I don't know, I, I, I assume you've seen these because you've been on the recent Super Chats. But, let's start out with everybody's favorite dancing king, Donald Trump himself. <laughs> And the other one that we're talking about, whoops, that's no, not what we wanted. We want, uh, meanwhile, in the 80s, which is this one. So, uh, does anybody really know why we're fighting anyway? Well, um, I think, hey, didn't he vote for Trump? Hmm? Get him! Get him! Get him! Get him! So remember, if anyone has an opinion, they're probably wrong. Now we know! And knowing is half the battle. <laughs> there we go. Uh, so thank you so much, Trolita. There you go. You got a twofer because, hey, I just love that Care Bear. Um, <laughs> I don't know why. Uh, that was entirely my son's idea, by the way, putting the Care Bear in there. It was awesome. Um, so I do have an unveiling to do today, and I'm very, very excited about this. Actually, it's a double unveiling because now I, I'm still working out the, some of the details on it, but I think you guys are going to really like this. This is the first official USS Anti-Trekker dedication plaque right here. Ooh, and you can see it's like an aged bronze look. It's a, and I know the lighting here. Let me turn this light on, see if we can get it a little brighter. There we go. And bring that up. There we go. So, USS Andy Trekker Stargazer Class, Registry NCC 11091, Tranquility Base Shipyards. Not all who wander are lost. So, but why I say a twofer? Because. This is hot off the presses earlier today and uh, just got out of the paint. Yes, Captain Foley is about to have a nerdgasm because I actually have the official oh. dedication plaque for the USS Foley, a Foley-class dreadnought built at IO Construction Yards in Jupiter. And at the bottom it says, uh, Strong convictions precede great action. So there you go, Captain. This will be uh, being shipped up to Canada in the very, very near That's future. Awesome. And uh, yeah, and by the way, notice the custom Trek lo uh, Delta shield at the top. That is Foley's official uh, symbol. It right? is indeed. Yes. Um, so uh, meanwhile, man, you guys are being generous today. Thomas says, "Can you believe on your anniversary, Captain George had a video of his blocked?" Oh, I didn't hear about that. Captain, I am so sorry. And I know you said check Discord, but I can't check Discord today because of the fact that I'm running a Skype call. 
uh, while I am t uh, doing this. And I'm, you know, I'm not going to get mad at him about that, but I just, because I only have three monitors, so I can only do so much. But you want Uber Chat number two. You got it, my friend. Uh, and so we need to get our lawns taken care of. Hello, everybody. Is your front yard not growing according to your plan? Are you unable to eradicate those pesky rebellious crackers? <laughs> Call us. I am the lawn master. And everything will grow according to my design. <laughs> Do it. <laughs> And I have to say something real quick. Now, Captain Redneck mentions that why is a Russian bot, namely me, wearing an American shirt? Because I am wearing a Captain America shirt today uh, and calling me an ass kisser. But, and, and of course, Captain Foley is a, is a Russian bot yes, as well, that's correct? True. Okay, yes, we are both Russian bots. And uh, the, the, the thing is, you obviously haven't read the comic books, Captain Redneck, because Captain America, turns out in the comic books, has been a Hydra agent all along, so he's basically a Nazi, so it's okay. He's on our side, not yours. So, suck on that. Um, so, <laughs> the Mr. Pete channel is halfway to the big time. Love the new name. Uh, puts two bucks in there and says, where's Commander Gullible? Not first of all, <clears throat> Commander Cockings is a nice guy. Um, now, he's wrong about the Borg, and we had a very lively discussion about it. Wouldn't you I say? would say so, yes. Yes, uh, but depending on how he edits it, <laughs> I may end up losing that fight <laughs> so, uh, because he gets to edit the final video. But he says Captain Foley gets to pick any of the Super Chat rewards. So, Captain, it is your choice. I'm going to go with Lore Unmasked. Lore Unmasked, a uh, of, of, of fan favorite around here. Have you seen it before? I'm not sure. I probably have. I think I've seen them all. Yeah, it's, this, is, this is a good one. Uh, so Sir, here we go. We are being hailed. On screen. What is your problem? I am Lore. Do you need help? I have a YouTube channel. My YouTube channel is Lore Reloaded. Let me guess, their rubber band broke, right? I make YouTube go. I love that one. So. Mm -hmm, that's a good one. <laughs> yeah. So, um, reality says you picked the wrong one, though. Oh, well, don't give me the option. Yeah, but, yeah. <laughs> did you see the Chris Evans tweet thanking everyone? I, I uh, did, and I saw um, Mecha Random's uh commentary on it now did you hear about the the tweet from chris evans no i did not he basically tweeted out um that and, and yes captain foley does have liquor he and i are both getting all liquored up tonight um the the tweet was basically saying that they finished principal photography on on uh avengers 4 as yet the title has not been released and what an honor it's been to play captain america for the last eight years and that kind of thing and a lot of people are interpreting that as him basically is saying a fond for farewell and interpreting this to mean that Captain America is going to probably die in Avengers 4. Mm. Um, now, I don't know how, because I, I haven't talked to you about it at all, to be honest. I don't know if you even like the Marvel movies, um, but I happen to love them. And I've been saying that Captain America and Iron Man are going to die in Avengers 4. I've been saying that since before Avengers 3 came out. But uh, that's just my own personal thoughts on it. Um, I would think? tend to agree. I do enjoy the Marvel movies as well, and yeah, I think I know that um, I know that Robert Downey Jr. kind of is getting a little bit dull, or bored with the character, I guess, uh, and wants out. So yeah, I would think that might be what would happen. It's <laughs> Redneck says it's time for Captain Russia. Yes, that's we need a real superhero, Captain Russia, Captain Silver for the people. 
<laughs> um, so let's see. Derek says, "Hello there, Mary. Hope to uh, hope you are well. Hello there, Mary. Hope you are well. You're talking to Mary, not me. You jerk. But if, if Mary is here, I didn't see her. But if Mary is here, I hope she's doing well too. Mary, if you uh, if I missed your your first chat in there and you're here, I hope you're having a good day, not a bad day, because." Uh, just so you know, Mary is, uh, she's a moderator on the channel here. She's a great, uh, great lady, but she's also going through some very, I, I can't remember if it's chemo or radiation or both, but she's going through some some tough times right now. So thoughts and prayers out to you as always, Mary. Um, Mr. Miles is saying, put Discord on your phone, old man. I have Discord on my phone, but I'm not going to sit here and mess around on my phone during the live stream like Captain Foley is because I have class where Captain Foley is Canadian. Whoa, see, that's not even <laughs> cool. No, no, no. This is your live stream. I'm just sitting in, sitting in, thought I'd participate a little bit. I'm not going to take over or take up your time, so. That's all right. No, that's all right. Well, everybody loves your, your Joker voice. I don't know. You, you just have this natural knack for being psychotic, and so I'm, I'm absolutely convinced that you really are a, a killer. Josh says, anti trekker when you get the anti-store up and running, there will be an anti trekker flamethrower. The kids will love it. Ha Shh, don't tell everybody. It's going to be right next to the, hey, kids, buy the bag of broken glass thing from Saturday Night Live. That was, I love that. The Johnny bag of glass. Um, are you finished with season two of Stargate? Not yet. Um, I actually didn't have time to watch a Stargate episode today. But the last one we watched was the clip show from season two, uh, where basically all the members of SG-1 except for Tilk were, were kid captured by the Gaud, and they were being tricked into giving them information by looking at clips from previous episodes. Oh, the clip show. Those are the worst. Yes. I hate clip shows. Um, and, yeah, uh, clip shows are just horrendously bad. <clears throat> Um, so Captain George, yep, I used only 34 seconds of a clip in a five minute video and they blocked it worldwide. We also have a new golden turd and it is Darth Revan. Darth Revan is the new golden turd winner. Congratulations. By the way, that's something that we, you could probably do something like this on, uh, now that you're setting up your own discord, uh, captain, but on my discord server, whoever is the, uh, the number one participant for the month is the winner of the golden turd. And while it hasn't been manufactured yet, there will be a physical golden turd award that will go out to these people eventually. And I'm keeping track. So we have Luke, Captain Redneck, and now Darth Revan, all, uh, golden turd winners. I've been participating. Can I qualify or because I'm another YouTuber, am I like, not involved. I can't win the contest. No, you can. If you, you come to my, you can come to my thing. You have to. You just have to post a lot on my Discord. Oh, your Discord. And, which my, I haven't yes, been invited. But my to Discord, Discord is clearly. So. Well, the the link is in the description for this very video, and it's on the on all of my videos. I have an open open invite for anybody that wants it. Um, so bronzed turds. Well, you know. Um. And Derek throws a pound into the chat thank you so much derek and don't forget if you do want a uh, super chat reward to throw it out at me so um now since we have the honorable captain uh foley with us right now any other questions specifically for captain foley aside from the fact that uh you know he's going to admit that i uh completely destroyed him and commander cockings in our discussion on the board today but you didn't. It's all opinions, and you're wrong. <laughs> <clears throat> oh, come on now. I, it, actually, it was a very... We, we were talking about... Uh, we recorded two shows. Mm -hmm. uh, the, the first was a general discussion of the Borg as a villain in Trek. The second one was a uh, discussion about the Queen specifically. And I think that we agreed on the larger picture issues that's not going to be controversial in that the borg obviously were better in the earlier stages than they were in the later and that the queen was overall kind of a mistake although it seems like commander cockings doesn't think that the queen was a mistake no he doesn't um yeah but so, I, I agree with you she's more like a one, one of the popular girls in high school just the 
head of the clique, <laughs> the plastics, if you will. Just a, a selfish, whiny little bitch. So I agree with you. Um, so Sci-Fi Sith Dan wants me to ask you if you've seen SG-1 and Atlantis and what is your favorite Stargate show? Uh, I've seen both. I haven't seen all of them, unfortunately. Um, my wife Sylvia is a huge fan of Stargate. Um, I prefer Atlantis, personally. Um, I just think it's a better show overall. It's kind of like the Deep Space Nine of Stargate for me. So, and I, I'll tell you, I I'm just now getting into Stargate, uh, mainly because these guys uh, have been insisting that I watch it and start doing reviews of Stargate episodes, and so I'm just in season two of, of SG One. So obviously, I'm a long ways off from watching Atlantis because I'm trying to watch them in chronological order. Well, that I have not done. I keep um, I keep tuning into the same shitty episodes, and it makes me not want to watch <laughs> the rest, even though Sylvia wants me to sit down with her and watch the whole thing. Um, you know, all of Stargate is on, like, Hulu, right? Sure. I don't have Hulu. Well, get it. Fine. Don't they have Hulu in Canada? No, we've got Crave TV, Netflix. I think we got, I think we can get Hulu. I don't know. I've got subscriptions to a few different services, so. Now, Captain George. By the way, Captain George, uh, I, I think I already told you before in the chat, is the director of social media for my channel. He handles my Discord yes. stuff. And, and he's a great guy. But... He's also obsessed with Star Wars over Trek, and he wants me to ask you if you're going to do a video on Trek Yards for the Venator-class Star Destroyer. Uh, at some point. That's been requested a few times by a few different people, so yes. Yes, I think he's actually asked that before, and he needs to stop. Because it'll happen. It'll happen eventually. Keep in mind, uh, Captain uh, George, that we recorded a vi two videos today, and it's going to be frickin' November before any of you can see them. So, It'll probably be January or uh, February, knowing us. Uh, we got some uh, good stuff lined up coming up. Come on now. Yeah, but I... Come on. You gotta admit, it was a pretty lively It was discussion. good. It was really good, yeah. And and so, don't you think you should probably bump that up a little I'll bit? I'll see what I can do. If the bribe's big enough, anything's possible. Um... <laughs> Trolita's disappointed that you're married, apparently, um, and her and her day is ruined. So, yes, uh, Captain Captain George is in fact uh, married. Uh, so now we got a technical question. Ask Trekyards which BC three hundred three or BC three hundred four class battle cru cruiser is better designed and looking. Uh, I assume you know what those are. Those are the battle cruisers from from uh, Stargate. I believe. Yeah, um, I'm not. 100% sure on which is which. I'm not that big of a Stargate fan. Yeah, I don't I don't know them at all cuz I haven't gotten that far into the show. So, I just know that they're gonna eventually get into space. Let's look. BC303? BC303 versus the BC304. <clears throat> okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I would have to say the 304 is the better one. Okay. I don't know what either one of them look like, but there you go. The official word from the expert on starships is that the 304 is the better one. Uh, Captain Redneck wants me to ask you, and this is an interesting question, who is your, uh, what's your favorite, as in saddest, like heart-wrenching hero death? Not necessarily a superhero, any lead hero character from any movie. <laughs> um, <clears throat> Sherlock Holmes so in the like, final problem. Sherlock Holmes in the I don't think I'm, I'm a huge Sherlock Holmes that, fan, and when he died at Reichenbach Falls, that was awful. But he does come back because no one actually ever dies, right? So, um, right. I don't know. That's a, that's a good question. I can't. I need to think about that. For me, that's a painfully obvious one. Uh, to to me, there is. Well, there's a couple. I mean, first of all. Because of the fact that I grew up, and I'm a little older than you even, but the, uh, you know, I grew up on, on Star Trek, the original series. I was born and watched season two when it first aired. Uh, I watched the animated series as a kid when it was first aired. I was obsessed with the reruns throughout the series. So your answer is Spock. Right? And, when, and when, when Spock died, I cried my eyes yeah. out. Um, and... The other one, though, that really hits me, though, is honestly William Wallace from Braveheart. Mm. 
That was a good one. Because even though I knew deep down, because I, I knew the story of William Miles, I'm, I'm uh, Scotch-Irish from, from my family descent, so I already knew who William Wallace was, but and I knew how he died. But I was still waiting in that movie for the rescue. I was waiting in the, uh, when, when they were bringing him up on the, on, on the platform and they were going to torture him and everything. I was just waiting for them to, to start shooting arrows and to, and to pull him out, and, and it didn't happen. And, oh, man, that got me. Uh, so, Good hands. And Redneck says, Spock, Optimus Prime, and William Wallace. Optimus Prime Optimus is a good Prime, one. Optimus Prime, I should have said Optimus Prime. I'm a huge Transformers fan. That's so glaringly obvious. Damn it. And Derek wants to turn us for Mary. Mary uh, uh, gets... By the way, Mary, of course, uh, her favorite is the turtus, and everybody knows it. So sometimes when people want to do something nice for Mary, they get her a turtus. They, they just kiss up to her because she's like one of the few girls around here. White, is this right? <laughs> so, um, let's see. What about Porkins in Star Wars? Nah. What? Uh, I, I, well, Porkins. Uh, I wouldn't say emotional as much as laughable. <laughs> you yeah. know, uh, it's like first of all, what was Porkins even doing piloting an X-wing? I mean, wouldn't his sheer mass kind of affect? how well an X-Wing could perform in How combat? did he fit in the X-Wing is the first question. Second question is, when he died, yeah. did it smell like bacon? I don't know. I, I, yeah, and, how, and who came up with the name Porkins for the fat guy? Well, I mean, that was, that's kind of a. He, he was supposed <laughs> to be an alien of some kind, um, I think very pig-like, much like a Gamorrean guard, <laughs> but they didn't have the budget, so they just, here, your name's Porkins now. <laughs> And yes, Trolita, I will prep. My audio is going to be out of sync for the show. I apologize. That's just the way it is. Uh, here, I'll put the microphone in front of my mouth so it doesn't look as obvious. Um, he was stuck in the seat. <laughs> um, Sci-Fi Sis says, ask Trek Yards if he has done a ship review of the Gawood mothership. No, we have not yet. But it is on the... It, it, right, have you done any Have you done any SG-1 We've done stuff? a few. We've done the, we did a full episode on the Daedalus class. And we've done um, the, the, the glider, the puddle jumper, um, a few other ones. Some haven't been released yet, but there is a short list. And yes, that one is on it. So it'll be coming up. Cool. Was Porkins a young anti trekker? No. Uh, I can honestly say that Porkins and I are not related. However, we do know that Lore Reloaded was, in fact, in Return of the Jedi. So. Oh, is he the, is he the, uh, the Rancor Keeper? The Rancor Keeper. Yeah. Yes. And in fact, Mrs. Anti Trekker com uh, confirmed the rank. Uh, Lower Reloaded actually is not technically the Rancor Keeper. What he is is you know how have you seen the Expanse? Uh, no, I haven't. Okay, well, one thing they they establish in the Expanse is that like you can have multiple parents because they just mix the DNA of whoever, right? So uh, at least in, so in the twenty third century, the Expanse any group of people can be your parents, and so he is a hybrid of the um the rancor keeper and a packlid <laughs> and a gamorian guard come on now <laughs> no, no too much sorry gamorian guard you say huh? mm -hmm. so we'll have to see should we add that because you know it, now of course we, the main character in the expanse actually has seven parents uh, wow and and that's just you know it's not like a major part of it, but yeah. So we'll have to say, should, should we add Gamorian Guard to the mix? I thought Laura would have been one of those dancers. <laughs> <laughs> the six-titted woman dancing in Jabba's Palace. Yeah. We're being mean oh, to Laura. Man. I was talking to Laura earlier today. He's a good guy. He... Oh, yeah. Well, you know he's a good friend yeah. of mine, and I'm, I make fun of him on a fairly regular basis and he makes fun of me and that's okay but he's wrong usually when he does it because i'm not the one putting out videos on youtube telling people that the word trans warp never appears in star trek 3 and today he asked for advice on twitter <laughs> about the romulans 
and their warp drive systems, which I addressed a few times, and other people did as well. But he tends to just go, okay, yeah, that's a great bit of information. I'm going to ignore that and do what I was going to do originally anyway. So Mr. Captain wants to know uh, if you are aware, and I didn't know this, but the DeForest Kelly was in The Littlest Hobo. Really? I used to watch The Littlest Hobo all the time as a kid. I never did, so... Well, I it's a Canadian that, show, so of course you wouldn't have. Oh, well, that makes sense. I watch real television. Right? Um, it was, it was, I think it was yeah. on right before Nexus. Wild, Lauren Green's Wild Kingdom. Oh, okay. Um, so, uh, Miss, Mr. Captain says... Uh, Nexus says Shields, and Mr. Captain says Fields, which is an... Uh, now, I, I know you've talked to Lore several times. He's been on your show a few times. Which, by the way, did it take a month for you to broadcast the shows you recorded with yep. him? Because I don't think it took yep. that we long. Recorded, I, I we recorded a few with him, and the second one only just got released, and he was like, oh my god, I forgot we filmed that, and he was cringing the whole time. So yes, it's sometimes they get stuck in the buffer, and other things need to come out. But Well, but here's... So, uh, anyway... But Lore, uh, I, and I love him to death. He's a great friend, but he has this weird way of pronouncing some Shil words. Shields? Shields? Yeah, Shields. He can't say Shields. He says Shields. He can't say Fields. He says Fields. And he can't say Terrorist. He says Tourist. And so it's hilarious when he was talking about the Baki or a group of tourists. And I was like, so what? They were on vacation? Yeah, they all have cameras <laughs> around their necks. <laughs> yes. Yeah, um, reality says uh, anti or er, anti uh, lore needs to stop doing Star Trek videos. Well, he he satisfies a certain niche. He does these quick little five minute videos, and they're fun and everything. And I mean, if you want long form technical videos, Trek Yards is the channel to go. And I mean, I and I know I told you this before, but I mean, I'm I'm truly honored to have you on the show with us tonight because you are truly a legend among nerds because you. While not everybody loves your style, everybody respects you you and and Commander uh, Calkins' level of knowledge on the technical side well, of the Well, thank you. You mentioned that earlier, and I, I don't really believe you, but I appreciate it nonetheless. Thank you very much. Now, come on. I, look, you guys, uh, and it's okay. Wow. We can be honest here. I told Captain Foley that some, some of you guys think he's boring, so it's okay. It's all right. It's all right. Yeah, so we can be, we can, we're big kids here. So, but th tell them, in, uh, now, can you see the chat? I, don't I know can, see, can the see the chat on my phone. Okay, so tell him what you think of Trek Yards, the channel. Uh, aside from the fact that you, I, I know some of you think it's like, the, the, you may not like the style of it, but I know that every single one of you respect the level of knowledge that he and Commander Cockings put out there. And holy crap, Captain Redneck throws a hundred bucks into the wow. chat. And, and says, new evil bribe. Uh-oh, uh-oh, he's got an evil bribe for me. Make a top ten video honoring the best as in saddest hero deaths, just like the question you asked earlier. Um, any movie character hero, keep it limited to major motion pictures, no B-movies. Oh, so I can't use Tommy Wiseau from The Room? <laughs> because <laughs> no. that was a great great death it wasn't one that you cried at it was what but it was the only death that truly inspired massive laughter um but yes absolutely captain um that, i have one more evil bribe to work captain, on but i will absolutely captain redneck where are you during ours the super chats a uh, hundred dollars seriously for this guy he should he should also do a best and worst trek yards episodes video i think that'd be awesome best and worst trap here I'll, I'll, I'll oh man i would rip you guys to shreds and you would hate I would, that actually it would, it would really yeah. hurt my so, depression and anxiety i'd have to yeah so i don't want to do that to you now of course captain redneck thank you so much and you can pick uh, and i will absolutely do that that's a great idea for a video um and so in the meantime though if you do want a super chat reward you absolutely you, you know you can have it but and thomas in the meantime throws another five bucks in 4.99 says is lore related to the philadelphia flyers mascot gritty you know you've never seen the two of them in the same place at the same time do you know what gritty looks like i don't oh man i gotta bring up a picture of gritty for you um i'm not a sports guy sorry i'm just gonna step over there i gotta grab something i'll be right back sure so okay while he's gone guys remember he, 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 he's a great guy, and he's got like 45,000 subs, so be nice to him, okay? Um, 
<laughs> yeah. All right, so Gritty from Philadelphia Images. Uh, yeah, I think that might be Lore. Um, I don't think they're related. I think that might actually be him. Oh, my so, God. It is. Can you see that? Yeah, can you yes, see it? Yes, I can. All right, so. It's covering my awesome face. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. now we'll bring your awesome face back on. Um, and Uber Chat number one, you got it, my friend. Thank you so much for your generosity. I truly appreciate it. You're wrong, your highness. I am lore reloaded. A lore master. Like my father before me. So be it, lore master. If you will not be turned, you will be destroyed. You will pay the price for not going with the studio's vision. Father, please! Huh? No, no, I'm good. <laughs> so it's official that you're uh, Lore Reloaded's father? Is that what that's saying? The kind of, but then there's another one where Deadpool, well, well where a poop poops out Lore, so that was, it's, I'm also Lore's father. Well, yeah, I'm Lore's father. Well, no, yeah, so, yeah, I guess so. <sighs> that's sad. Um, Thomas says, my chat looks like crap now. Not at all, Thomas. First of all, I mean, yes, Captain Redneck, thank you so much. I truly appreciate the, the $100 evil bribe. And I, uh, there's one other evil bribe that I also have to live up to that I've been putting off for, uh, and he knows why. Um, that, that now, and I'm sure uh, that he knows, well, I, he's not here right now, but he'll know, he knows why I, did, I put off his. However, um, that's you know, an anomaly, and as much as I love Captain Redneck, I know he can't do that all the time. Uh, at the same time, Thomas, every little bit helps. Every little bit is appreciated. I, if you guys give a buck, if you guys give $100, it helps the channel, and that's the point. And I know the Trek Yards, uh, you know, you guys, same thing with your with Super Chats on your live yeah. streams. Uh, it, it adds up, you know, so if everybody chips in a buck or two, dang, it makes a big difference, and... and then, you know, that's the only reason I'm not working two jobs right now is you guys. And they know. don't realize it. Like a dollar a month on Patreon, five dollars a month on Patreon, it hardly noticed from you guys less than a cup of coffee a month. You know? Um, right. Yeah, and, and it all adds up. So it's really important to YouTubers. Yeah. And, and I've always said, and I'm not pitching my own Patreon page, uh, and one thing I do tell people is, by all means, it, support two or three, four or five patrons uh, on Patreon, that give them a buck a month. Just channels you respect, channels you like. Whether it's Trek Yards, whether it's Lore Reloaded, whether it's good channels like mine. And of course, now he's got to show off his toys. There's many up here. This is my ready room. So. All right, hold, hold on. All right. Captain George will get a kick out of this. So. Yes, Captain George is obsessed with Star Wars. Well, he's gonna he'd, he'd love this ready room. I got a lot of Star Wars stuff in here. Um, in the meantime, Reality Strikes throws a couple of bucks in and says, "Cheers to Trek Yard's knowledge." So he is res giving you mad respect for the knowledge, Cheers. and awesome. Thank you so much. And so he, uh, he and here's the thing about Reality Strikes: he just wants to get us drunk. That's oh, his whole well. thing. Um, which I know you're all for. Absolutely. i got to deal with you people, so. Oh, wow. You people. Usually, <laughs> usually when I'm watching your live streams, I'm naked on the couch downstairs watching on the 65-inch TV. But today i got to be all respectable and dressed and, you know. Yeah. Did I actually say that a lot? I, I don't know. Did you? Um, Captain Redneck wants to clarify that resurrected heroes like Spock are obviously okay in the top ten. Cool. Yeah, so as long as it's the death that is emotionally impactful absolutely i got gotcha. you mm -hmm. and yeah that's got that's going to be an interesting list to put together and uh, i may actually do one on unearned deaths as well like deaths where it should be emotional but isn't because that's actually an interesting idea to talk about too um when you you know it's like somebody dies and you're just like oh yeah we know they're coming back um 
Uh, Mary says, thanks for all you do, anti tracker Thank you, Mary. I appreciate it. I've just, I'm just, hey, this is awesome for me. I get to hang out with you guys. I get to meet someone like Captain Foley, a legend among nerds. And so uh, I, I'm honored that he's actually willing to come on and, and hang out with us. Uh, Jaeger throws five bucks in. Uh, it says, did Trek Yards do a video on the three nacelled vessels? Well, actually, <coughs> do you have an image that you can that you can share of the of the USS uh, Foley? I do. Yeah, because the Foley itself is actually a really nice three nacelled vessel. Uh, I love the modified Constitution. You have uh, Trek Yards, where you see broke back YouTubers. You got it. So while Captain Foley is bringing up the picture, I am going to put on broke back YouTubers because you guys hate me. I now pronounce you man and turd. You may now kiss. Joshua, what are you doing? <laughs> nothing, nothing. I'm definitely not making you kiss law. I repeat, I am not making you kiss law. I'm definitely not. <laughs> um, Sorry, I'm still looking. This is my laptop. That's this is okay. my main computer downstairs, so. That's all right. Well, I told you, you're going to get me the 3D model so I can try to print it, right? Sure. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Um, and let's see. Did Foley just say he looks respectable? Um, now, he, he thinks he looks good, Captain. I don't know why. I, it's, come on. I mean, look at the guy. He, he looks like the kind of guy that you're going to see on a watch list for don't let your children be near this guy. Who are we talking you know, about? Me? <laughs> really? <laughs> Damn, son. Thomas is like, how about characters that should die? That's actually not a bad one, too, because there are sometimes, there's some movies where the movie would have been better if a certain character died. I mean, I know we joke about it, like, oh, I wish that character would die. But there are some movies where they, they fake out a death or they just barely survive, and, and the movie would have been better if they had just died. Um, Richard says, anti tracker Trek Yards... The failures of Star Wars and the failures of the current Star Trek are what inspired me to do a sci-fi project. I want good ships and good lore. I agree with you, Richard. I, I, I and I know that Captain Foley's not as hard on Discovery as I have I have been, but at the same time, I I would dare say that he would agree that Discovery is a step down from everything we've seen mm -hmm. before. And it's it's a sad state for both the Star Wars and Star Trek franchises right now. I agree. Um, uh, Captain George says, tell Trek Yards that I've seen your captain's log. I love your ready room. I have no idea what you're talking about, but their message delivered. Thank you. I'm glad um, you enjoy it. Nexus says, what does your son mean by these shorts are dying? Uh, he actually, he said it was a kind of an inside joke saying that, oh, you guys probably think that these animations are stupid, but I told him that nothing could be further from the truth. That you guys love them. Um, Oh, and hey, I didn't get my Super Chat reward. He wants a vote. All right, guys, so everybody throw in there. Whoa, and all of a sudden, uh, Captain uh, Foley's... Oh, are you trying to bring up... I am, and my laptop's being a pain in the ass. Well, I'll tell you what. Can you send it to me via Facebook, and I'll put sure. it there. Um, and so, but yeah, it's a, it is a cool ship. So, we got votes for... Man, everybody wants to see Mega Chat number one for some reason. What a bunch of sickos. Yeah, no uh, all right. So, okay. We'll put up Mega Chat number one in just a minute. But first, Captain Foley is struggling here. Yes. To, now we can see we can see your desktop, just so you know. <laughs> oh, jeez. Don't look uh, at the porn. I'm sorry. Yeah. Oh, wow. That's quite a, that's quite a collection. Right? Uh, let's Stop see. sharing. I, we all know that hero ships is code. <laughs> yes. Uh Where's my Airwolf Super Chat? I'm still working on that reality. I'm so sorry. I've been so crazy busy. You are going to get it. I promise. And you're going to love it. Uh, get rid of the fish cam and size up Foley. Fair enough. I don't know why you guys actually want to see more Foley. Because of this but... model in the background, obviously. Yeah. All right. So we'll we'll bring Foley up a bit. Now, now you're covering my beautiful face, so I'm going to have to like, come over here. Well, yeah. Actually, uh, while you're you see while you're messing around with I'm having that, real trouble I mean, with this computer. This laptop pissed me off three times today. I'm gonna throw it out the window soon. Well, why don't you get a you know you you you're like a massive channel. Why don't you just like 
Oh, yeah, because we're rolling Bye. in the dough. Like I said, the Lamborghini is being delivered later today. Or tomorrow, because it's late time. Well, I wouldn't be surprised. <laughs> All right, so now we got that. And make that bigger. Okay. So uh, there, I made Captain Foley bigger. Droid porn. Yeah. Right. Uh, let's see. Got get an Apple product. Well, he has Apple products. That's his problem. Well, I got an Apple phone. Actually, that's probably the best way to send you this thing. <laughs> Screw this. Screw the computer. I'll just. I got more fully class pictures on my phone than I do this laptop. You're probably right, Captain Redneck. He probably does have a Chinese computer. That's right. I got a probably. Lenovo, guys. So shut up. <laughs> I don't want to hassle your. Your people. By the way, I, I gotta say, I really enjoyed hanging out with you guys live. Um, it's fun. Getting to know the anti tracker is really cool. The only reason I started following you or watching your videos is because of Lori Reloaded. He keeps mentioning you. So you can thank Lori Reloaded for that. And then thank you for making me blind with the Lori Reloaded videos. But. <clears throat> yes. Um, so yeah, I really appreciate hanging out with you guys. It's really fun. I don't usually sit for a whole live video but uh, whenever you're on i tend to tune in so thank you very much for having me on well i'm i'm, I'm honored that you come come over because like i said you're you're freaking nerd legend so i i'm uh i'm blown away because i know that lore like uh lore reached out to you guys originally when you guys did your first video yeah well we've and, we've helped a lot of and, other channels like we helped space doc when they first started and now they're a Hundred thousand subscribers and more. We're still at forty-five thousand, so we we love helping out other people in the community, even though we kind of get left behind. But that's fine. Hey, that's a, you know what? And I, I'll tell you. Uh, well, and I, I know you're gonna send that picture any minute. But I had a similar experience, although I, I'm a, I'm actually ex extremely excited about it. There was this little channel had um, a little over a thousand subs uh, at the beginning of this year, mm -hmm. and. Uh, now I and several others, I'm not taking full credit for this, started, saw this guy, started promoting him, started talking about how awesome he is. And now he just celebrated 10,000 subs and that would be Doomcock. Oh, uh, and Doomcock is, is an interesting character. Um, but I, and love him or hate him. He's definitely got a very unique style. Mm -hmm. Um, videos. Although they get a little ranty yeah. at times and that kind of bugs me, but. He's got some good humor, so. Sci-Fi Sith wants me to find his previous comment because I say anti Trekker ask Trek Yards, what is the Star Trek universe alien tech equivalent of the Gaud tech tech wise? So as far as how advanced their tech is and everything, how would you compare the Gaud to Trek universe? It's a tough one, and I know he's kind of shrugging there, but it's a tough one because they're they. The, I think the style of tech, it's like it looks like, you know, ancient artifacts that do cool things. But honestly, have we at least... Now, I haven't seen all of SG-1, and I don't know what's going to happen in the future, but at least so far, it doesn't really seem they're any more advanced than anything we've seen in Trek, as far as from TOS and later. Um, you know, like, we, we've seen some cool things that they've done, but, I mean, their transporters require a physical device at both ends uh the uh which is less advanced than trek their weapons don't seem any more advanced than trek and in fact less advanced uh so yeah i i honestly don't i'm not impressed with their level of tech as far as in the sci-fi realm of things but i think they're a cool idea have trek yard show us his tos toys well first he's got to send me the I'm sending right now oh picture. don't oh shit ignore that one <sighs> did you send me porn? No, I didn't I'm... show you. You wish. Did you cut out my ship? Is my ship not visible anymore? Like for real? Wait. Uh, so, do you want to be? Do you want people to be able to see your face? Did, would you guys rather you see my see ship your... and stuff or my face? I mean, that's a pretty I obvious mean, what, answer. What do you want? Me, uh, here, I'll t you know, I, I can. Okay, I'll tell you what. Here's what I'll do. Man, what a jerk. right. Hold on a second. I'm just gonna step over here for a second. I need to grab something. All right, so, <laughs> man, all right, all right, let's do this. Guys, uh, should you like the Foley class, which you probably should, there is a resin model kit now, one one thousand scale, 
of the Foley class, which will be released soon. I can't say who from because they've got a. Yeah, they've had some issues, but there is a Foley class model available. And I've got the resin cast of it here. I got four different, or four of the same uh, kit they sent me for. So I'm going to be doing a buildup of this soon. What are you doing? You're disappearing. Yeah, well, you're taking over the stream, so yeah. <laughs> That's nice and on this episode of Trek Yards, we're going to be talking about why why about the, why the Discovery boot. Klingons sound like they have two dicks in their mouths. Well, they, they, they have two. They have two. I hate the way they speak. Oh, look at that. See, that's sexy. See, look at this. That's a beautiful model, you got to admit. I'd light it up, but the motors are too loud. We've already gone over this. Well, you can turn it on for a minute from the All sea. Right, fine. Yeah, yeah. But those are the motors that came from the round two accessory kit, and they're so loud. I wish I would have got like the Tena Controls LED ones because they're not as loud. But anyway, there it is. Yay! It's my first lit model. That is, that is an absolutely gorgeous. Well, thank model. you. It took I, I took me about seven months to build that. I've been working on the 350 refit for about five years now because I hate that model and I never wanted to have it, but the friend gave it to me, so I have to build it. Why am I so big? I feel bad. Well, now, you know, since they like you better than me, I'm just like... No, they don't like you. Give them the, give them the people no, they, they want. they don't like you. Me better than you. <laughs> cheers. Besides, but uh, cheers, my friend. Rami on ale, always. Remember... Revenge is a dish that is best so served cold, but so is Romulan ale. Right? And you know why Romulan ale is illegal, right? No, why is it illegal? Because it gets you drunk as soon as it hits the surface of your tongue, it gets into the bloodstream, so it gets you drunk instantaneously. That's, one, that's the main reason why it's illegal in the Federation. That explains. That explains yep. a lot. Uh, this episode of the Anti Trekker Trek Yards takes over. Yes, and that's okay. It's in the house. Yeah. Which, by the way, I do love this shirt. That's a cool oh, thanks. shirt. This is, um, this is the first of our pinup series. This was actually just released as a limited edition, but the sale's over now, so you guys are out of luck. But it'll be it'll be available soon again. But we've got four more, four, four or five more. We got a Klingon, we got a Andorian, a Romulan, a Cetacean, and an Andorian. I think I said Andorian. So yeah, there's four more coming um, special edition pinup shirts. So. <laughs> and uh, uh, reality is commenting on your phaser. Says that looks. Well, that's the Wand Company phaser. It's absolutely awesome. No. It's got different. That is nice. That is very nice. It's got different settings. But yeah, it's my one of my favorite things. But, now, granted, this doesn't have the cool lights and sounds, but I do like this prop because I'm going to be using it for some cosplay in the near future. I don't know if you've uh, seen any of my streams when my hair has been down, but my hair is uh, very curly and kind of it looks like spreads out. So, check this baby out. I got one of those downstairs. Yes. So, I do love me this disruptor. It, it makes sound, but it's, it's not particularly impressive. Um, but I just love, this is a very, very nice replica of the Disruptor. So, I actually, and is that the one that, that, that has a Bluetooth? Yeah, this is the one company phaser, or communicator. But I mean, it's, is it a Bluetooth that connects yep. to your phone? Yeah, I have that same one buried away somewhere. It's really an amazing prop. Yeah. So, just so you guys know, that prop right there... I got one, and I haven't I, I haven't completely set it up yet, but it is a Bluetooth-enabled device, which means you can sync it to your yeah. phone and literally use that for your cell phone. Yeah, whenever I'm at a convention, and, I have my cell phone in my pocket, and I always have that available, so I'm like dressed in my Trek Yards uniform, and I always use that as for the phone if I need to. But yes, did you get the Foley class yeah. pictures? Oh, uh, let Facebook me check messenger. my Facebook message. So here's the, here. here's the model kit. It's 1 1,000th scale. Um, and it can no, I don't see any. I, I well, I see the pictures. That's like a it's like a sh six pictures put together. 
Is that what you're talking about? Well, they're different pictures. You got to click on them individually. Okay, there we go. All right. So and check out this. This is why bring... I'm going to bring this window up. So hold on, people oh. can see it for a minute. So there's the Foley class. They can't see you right now because I put the pictures that. up. Um, that's that's a good good shot. Who did that render? Uh, a guy by the name of Barry Chapman. He's one of our 3D modelers. He's yeah. does some good. So it. It looks like it's a variant of the Federation class. It is. Uh, actually, that's the Mark II Foley class. The Mark III is much more like the Federation class with the nacelle attached to the saucer, uh, which is that last picture you showed. I can send another more detailed picture of it. Okay, yeah, but yeah. But I yeah. did... I, I kind of like the Mark I better. That's then. the Mark II. The uh, Mark I is just an experimental prototype, and it looks, looks a little bit different. I'd have to show you that separately. Okay. Why did I send you I'm that? Not, that's my desktop. I, I have no idea. That's like that's some. That's when we were doing threshold, messy. and I took a picture of the two hearts that Tom Paris had. Okay. <clears throat> I didn't send you that. Though. All right. What the hell? What the hell, damn guy? I don't know. I just clicked on the next button, and that came up. Damn. So, um. And uh, by the way, uh, I, and I and I have to. You know, just because I can do this so well, it's one of the few things I can do very well. Is your attempt at a Kling Orc voice was horror, horrible? Yeah, Samuel does it perfectly. Uh, so, well, now I'm gonna I'm gonna put Samuel to shame. Shame here. Hold on, <clears throat> let me warm up here. You ready for this? Two dicks in your mouth. Go ahead. Kailus noch 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 ach lis illus doch noch. So I disapprove go. this message. <laughs> uh, Sci-Fi Sith says, ask Trek Yards if he could do a Stargate fandom fan-made ships for him to review. And what's his Discord username? I would like to send him some Stargate pictures. Uh, I don't know what his Discord username is, but you can go to his videos now, and there's the Discord link on your newest videos, yes, right? Is, yes. All right. Um, so, But yeah, I, I, I can't... I hate YouTube because you got to update all the video descriptions and you can't update all the past ones without going through each one individually. I can do the new ones with the, the default settings. So right. as of tomorrow, there'll be a discord link in every video. Um, tomorrow I've got my captain's log that comes out at 9 AM and my, um, Eagle Moss ship review yep. that comes out at noon. So, and soon captain Foley will just be joining my discord where he, belongs. I've already uh, requests. Relax. Uh, any and now Ricky and this is an interesting thing. Ricky says anything past two nacelles is the equivalent of putting rims on car wheels. Um, now, what are your thoughts on that? Because I don't know what is canon and what isn't, but I know that some people have said that oh well, warp nacelles have to work in pairs. Mm -hmm. um, so what's 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 your thought on? That? All right, well that's the rule that Gene Roddenberry made around the motion picture era because. Him and Franz Joseph had a falling out, so he wanted to discredit Franz Joseph's work. So he said nothing, like the, the, the engines had to work in... Is Franz Joseph the one that did the yes. tech manual? He said everything has to work in okay. pairs. So no Saladin class, no um, Federation Feder class, Federation class, no, no Ptolemy Tug. Even though they're only in pairs, they need to have a line of sight. So the cargo modules cancel that out. That was okay. just Gene Roddenberry being petty, unfortunately. Um but we've always main, maintained that even a single nacelle ship can have two rows of warp nacelles or two warp, two rows of warp coils inside a single nacelle, albeit smaller, they'd be able to generate a warp field that way, or um, less lower warp speeds, obviously, right? Um, mm -hmm. And as for the third nacelle, it's basically just a hot standby uh, nacelle for power should they need it, should they have to to separate. And it does have line of sight technically with the ones on the side. I really love three nacelle designs, and three nacelle designs are canon now because of the Galaxy X in all good things. Right, that's so. true. The Galaxy X and the is Niagara, really just the Federation. And the Niagara class that was at Wolf three five nine. It's an also it's also a three nacelle ship. So, and of course in the JJ verse we saw a three nacelle ship. I don't know what the class was, but we saw it in the fleet warping out scene. There was a three nacelle. Ship. Yes, we shall not speak of the Kelvin verse. Well, I'm just saying I know, but I think that that is canon, so we know that a warp nacelle, a tri warp nacelle, can. Yeah, I'm trying back. to think what the name of that um, ship is. I can picture it, but I can't remember the name. Yeah. Sorry. And so and then, um, Jaeger bomb throws five bucks in. Thank you so much, Jaeger, and says thought 
about doing a refit version of the USS Foley. Looks amazing. What is the best case and worst case for the Picard show? May I see Uber Chat number four? You absolutely can see Uber Chat number four, and then me and F Mr. Captain Foley will talk. Well, um, all right. Well, let's beam down to the planet. We got no sound. Energize, Mr. Scott. There's no Hi, Captain. Captain. I can hear you. Welcome aboard the USS Discovery. There's got to be some kind of other universe, right? Please, send me back. Oh There's no God, sound. Send me back. <laughs> you know, send me back. Oh. Now, can you hear me, Captain? I can hear you, but I couldn't hear the clip. Okay. Yeah, I don't know what happened there, but yeah, they could. Uh, I'm sure they could hear you talking over the clip. I, but It's you know. better than silence, right? Yeah. Um, so, our, our, so the first part of that question, is there going to be, um, oh, and, and Ty mentions that there was one Nacelle Freedom class at Wolf 359 yep, yep. as well. Um, but the, so first question, are you going to do a refit version of the Check fold? your Facebook, yes. And, oh, did you already do one? Uh, it's in the works. We've started working on it. I'll, you can see an early draft of it there. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, that's, uh, let's see, let me bring that up for you guys to see. And there is the rough draft refit There's version. a few different views of it there, so if you want right. to... Uh, let's see. Yeah, there you go. It's, it's underway. It hasn't been finalized yet, but yes, we are working on one. Yeah. Um... And then the other question, the other part of the question is best case, and this is an interesting one, best case versus worst case scenario for the new Picard show. That's for me? Well, I think it's for both uh, of us. Well, worst case is they're going to chide in with the Kelvin timeline and Discovery and really ruin it because Alex Kurtzman's in charge. Best case is it's going to be absolutely fantastic and <laughs> continue on from where TNG left off, but not worry about the events of Star Trek Online. Don't try to shoehorn yourself into a timeline again, which is what they did with Discovery, which is what they did with Enterprise. Just leave the past alone and go with something new. Don't worry about this, the events of Star Trek Online. Don't try to shoehorn events in. Well, and I'll, I'll say this. So for, for me, best case scenario with the Picard show, uh, unfortunately, I don't see it as being... Uh, un, uh, I, I'm pessimistic about the show overall, but best case scenario, I would say that Picard is retired, some kind of crisis comes up, and they need his knowledge on whatever specific subject matter is, so he comes out of retirement, did you, to, or is a consultant aboard a Starship. Did you ship. see the uh, Red Letter Media um, pitch for the Picard series? I have not. I heard about it, but I haven't. I haven't seen. It. Well, I know where they like find an old Galaxy class ship. Well, the and, USS and, like, Galaxy yeah. specifically. Yeah, I yeah. think it was really well done. Um, it was a great idea. Um, their pitch isn't bad, but I would. But I'm just saying, for me, I would like to see Picard just the literal pull him out of retirement yeah. because he knows something specific and tie it into something from the next gen and then a next gen episode whatever it may be whether it's the borg or something else you just say hey you're the man that knows about this we need you um now worst case first of all i don't think that the the kelvin thing is even a possibility because of the of the legal issues with paramount owning the kelvin that being said look at discovery and look at the influences that they've taken well no kelvin. discovery is well, the funny thing is, here's the thing about Discovery. When they say, oh, Discovery has to be at least 25% different, I think what they're saying is, we want it to be the Kelvin, but legally we have to be 25% different than the Kelvin timeline. I don't think they ever made the slightest attempt to go with the TOS timeline, which they damn well should have. <laughs> but, because nothing about, and I'm sorry, I don't mean to go on a tirade right here, but nothing, nothing about Star Trek Discovery even remotely looks like TOS. Preach, brother. Nothing. Preach, brother. Preach. All right. 
So don't try to tell me we had to make it 25% different than the TOS because, first of all, that's a load of crap because we all know that CBS owns TOS. So don't tell me you have to make it different than something you freaking but you own. Know what? The only t- but you know what? what? No, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's okay. Um, so John Eves came out and said that, yeah, they had legally had to make it 25% different because of issues, whatever. And then CBS went on record after that saying, no, it wasn't a legal idea. It wasn't a legal decision. It was a creative decision to make it 25% right. different, which makes them look like morons. A legal issue, I understand. A creative issue just makes you look like an idiot because you want right. to put your own, you want to piss all over it and make it your own. It's just don't do and that. And the thing is, here, here's the thing right now. On this chat, look freaking behind Captain Foley at the gorgeous model of the Constitution class Enterprise. That is a beautiful ship. You don't need to change it to make it better. It's perfect the way it is. And now all you got to do is create other ships that fit into that universe. And that would have been awesome. So what they were trying to do is to replicate the J.J. Abrams universe, but they had to make it different enough. So because I mean, look at the freaking view screens. This oh, is clearly and it, yeah, this is clearly an attempt to be the J.J. verse with and say it's the prime verse for legal reasons. That's all we're seeing here. So so I don't think that's even a possibility. So going back to the worst case scenario for the Picard series is that it's going to be a time travel thing where he ends up uh, meeting up with Michael Burnham and those idiots. No, um, they won't do that. If they do that, they're the dumbest MFers on the planet. Yeah. By the way, Captain George, thank you, throws uh, uh, Trek Yard's Discord into the chat. So if you guys are interested, Thanks, check it out right there. Um, and by the way, I've joined, I've although joined, I will joined warn the anti Trekker Discord, just so you know. Right. But I, I will warn you, the, the people on this channel, uh, my, my audience may be small compared to yours, but they are very active, which means that you may be overloaded with stuff on your Discord server. Um, <laughs> Jaeger Bob says, don't give me any more bad ideas. There, it, it, Trust me, my honest appraisal of the situation right now with CBS and the idiots in charge of the Star Trek franchise, and I'm sorry, Kurtzman is not a bad I don't know Kurtzman personally. I'm sure he's a wonderful guy. However, what he's done to Trek, if I could, I would punch him in the face. I, 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 I'm just saying. I, uh, I, I, I just, he just, <laughs> uh. Amen. Yeah. Tell you this FUCBS day, we are going for it today. So, <laughs> and Trek Yard is a part of it. We're going to be shut down next week. Enjoy it while you can, guys. Yes. Um, and yeah, Ricky uh, throws a two dollar super chat in there. Thank you so much, Ricky. I do truly appreciate it. it. Says they dare not show the Enterprise Bridge on STD. Have you seen the pictures of the Enterprise Bridge from STD? STD, I don't, and I know Captain Foley. That you are a fair-minded guy and you've tried to defend this show as best you can and you're trying to be even-handed and everything. But F-U-C-B-S. That is not the freaking Enterprise. That is... I, what the hell is that? I haven't that? even seen the Bridge of the Enterprise yet. Have you actually seen it? They've shown... They've, they've leaked a, a couple of, of pictures of, of, of it and it looks like crap. I've seen um, Spock's quarters yeah. on a corridor, but that's about it. Yeah. Yeah, I saw a picture of the bridge, and I was just like... Appalled. Well, it's obviously the Discoverse. It, this is what we've got. I've gone on record saying this, that right. I call it the Discoverse now because it's its own universe. It's clearly not Prime. Even though, as much as they want to say it's Prime, it's not. <laughs> Captain Redneck, by the way, is planning on taking over your Discord, just so you know. Uh, <laughs> Josh says, uh, do we have to... Uh, do we do, are we going to need bail money for you? Yeah, probably. <laughs> at this point mecca random is in the house hey, i don't know if you know mecca random uh, but, Dude, yeah. she's one of the moderators for our lives she's usually there for every okay life. i didn't know i, I didn't know you knew her, so yeah yeah mecca random is awesome um but yes uh thank you for joining mecca i i always appreciate it but yeah the what the hell is wrong with cbs i 
do not understand why they think that, I mean, can they not see the Constitution class ship in all the glory that it is? Yeah, you don't have to do Constitution class ship. You can take, but freaking use those nacelles. Use that saucer. Use the things that are there and make it fit in the universe. You know, it is the, 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 okay. Uh, oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Getting, get, getting a little cre creepy there. Um, but the, uh, the, the thing is, is that the, the way that, that ship looks is beautiful. And for people, these freaking idiots out there that try to say, well, you have to modernize it because it looks so silly if you lose the 60s designs. Have you not seen Trials and Tribulations? Have you not seen In darkly. a Mirror Darkly? Yes. It freaking looks awesome awesome it looks great to see the classic design and even in trials and tribulations it's a perfect example of when dax was commenting on how things were designed back in the 23rd Black century the silver highlights You're, yes right and that's the style of the time just like you know fashions come in and come yeah. go out and stuff well, and, and, and and in amir darkly uh, you saw the defiant bridge lit with modern lighting standards Filmed, it look great. Filmed in modern, yes, exactly, exactly. And I've, I've <laughs> even said, if, if people complain about the jelly bean buttons, you know what? Just make them holograms that float about this far above the panel. Color, multicolored holograms are actually tactile to the touch, so they look right. like the jelly beans, but they're not. You can actually shut the panel down and have it go all black. That's a modern way to change that design and make it modern and still maintain that 1960s look because TOS right. as Doug Drexler says as we always say it is a period piece it mm -hmm. is the future from the 1960s don't do the future from now that's what TNG was you know you need to respect the 60s they did it in T they did it in um, TNG with relics they did it in Deep Space Nine with Trials and Tribulations they did it in Enterprise with Intermir Darkly they went out of their way to make sure that that was maintained that 1960s style that look it was and it was beautiful and and, uh, and the fact that they're crapping all over it now with discovery i don't understand they they really they had a freaking gold mine and they just want to piss it away mm -hmm. I, I i really don't understand that in the meantime thomas thank you so much for uh 4.99 super chat into Ooh. the mix and says it will be political talking about the picard series picard is going to defeat a corrupt Federation president, and he wants to flush lore. Um, all righty, we want to flush lore. And by the way, uh, so this is a, another confirmation that I am apparently lore's father. But... And again, no sound. Just saying. Hmm. It seems to be a Skype issue for you as far as the sound because everything seems to be working on my end. But it's fine. you know, that's fine. As long as as long as everybody out there gets to enjoy them, that's fine. I don't mind not yeah. hearing them. Um, Although, please don't play. So, yeah, oh, please I, don't play <laughs> Super Chat number one or no Mega Chat mega number chat one because yeah. I enjoy the music. I close my eyes and pretend that there's nothing there to watch, <laughs> and with just silence, that's not good. Ask the design say I was doing a, a William Wallace speech with my with my going off the rails there a minute ago. Um, I, I tell you, I get so pissed off at the at this whole oh it doesn't look good enough thing I, because I know. I'm the same. you know every time they've done it in the past, it's been beautiful and people have loved it. Uh, there are people that have spent hundreds of thousands of dollars recreating Star Trek sets and. Every single time you look at it, and you just say, "Wow, how amazing!" Does and I've that been look? on them. I've been on and, the Ticonderoga sets done by James Colley, and they're fantastic. Uh -huh. They're amazing. Right. Oh man, I tell you, if I, if I won the lottery, that would be a project of mine, as I would oh. recreate a lot of those. Yep. Sets. I've already got plans uh, for that. When I win yeah. the lottery, <laughs> so I'm like, I'm like, okay, I'll buy the next door neighbor's house and build it up right there. Um, but the, uh, oh. so the, so. CBS does not know what the hell they're sitting on. That's the problem. And that's what I've said all along. They have so many opportunities to make money. They're sitting on a gold mine. And you see these things on Facebook for 
the the TNG or the Enterprise era sh jackets from Japan, from China, the cheap knockoff ones. I've ordered a few of them, and they're pretty good. If CBS would actually spend the money to make these, I would buy the hell out of those. And they don't realize that they're not they're not actually using what they have and being able to tap into the old fans that actually really enjoy the show. Now, Josh wants to know, what did I eat to poop out lore? <laughs> well, I am I am on a low-carb, no-sugar diet, so, yeah, be careful of that, because if you go no-sugar and low-carb, then you'll end up pooping out lore reloaded. Uh, so that's, 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 yeah, that's a dangerous thing. Um, yeah. The... But yeah, the, the this the whole idea that you need to modernize it just for the sake of modernizing it is 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 silly. And and I don't and I was going to mention this earlier, but I I got on a tirade, of course, because I tend to do that, especially after drinking copious amounts of Romulan ale. This bottle was cheers. Full yeah, I know, right? Of this, mine was like half full, Romulan. and it's. <laughs> um, but the. Uh, have you seen E.C. Henry's video Eric on... Henry, the, Eric Henry is amazing. Yes, I've seen all of his videos. Yeah. Well, the one specifically that I'm talking about is the TOS view screen video. Yes. And he was, talk, he was talking about how the technology is more advanced than it appeared to be because of the limitations of 6 shooting. And I love that video because there's something... And, and if you haven't seen it, check it out on E.C. Henry's channel. Um, but the... Uh, the video talks about how the little view screens and stuff that we see are true non-glasses required 3D yep. interfaces. Yep. So like if you look if you look to the left, look to the right, you can see all around. And that and it was basically a small holographic projection. Yep. You see and that you see that, see way, that in episodes of TNG when they change camera angles on the bridge, you see that Commander Tomalock mm -hmm. on the view screen changes position cuz it's 3D. In the motion picture, you see the 3D holographic grid on the view screen before right. the ship launches. Yeah. And so, and so, given using that, you could say, okay, in the 60s, we can give them a little bit of forgiveness. They couldn't do it with visual effects. However, that would be an update I would be totally cool with on Discovery, mm -hmm. right? And so, if they use that classic design of the view screen itself, but then you make it a 3D interface and make it look the way they wish they could have made it look back in the 60s, I'm totally and no cool. windows. Window, windows right. with but a view screen overlay is a fantastic idea. I absolutely love it. But the fact right, but is... But not on an established canon yeah, The fact ship. is, it didn't exist until 2009 Star Trek, and now all of a sudden it's everywhere. That's the thing right. I have a problem with. And people pull up, well, the Cage Enterprise, you know, has a black box on the outside of the bridge. Right, but didn't you say that's like a sensor Yeah, it's, panel, a, it's right? a sensor palette. It was never intended to be a window, because the bridge is supposedly offset. 35 degrees in the in that enterprise we won't get into that debate but mm -hmm. anyway the uh the the tos enterprise i have here the bridge is actually offset if you look in the inside because like i got my bridge all detailed so very cool um I'm, I, I, by the way, I'm still ridiculously jealous of that uh, freaking model. That is like well, thank you. such a gorgeous model. Uh, once I get the anti printer up and running, I'm gonna. My life's goal at that point is gonna be to make something equivalent to that, uh, because yes. Um, and so Captain Redneck throws another 50 bucks into the Holy chat says, shit. send my fellow captain a bottle of or two of his favorite booze. Well, I don't know what his favorite booze is, but I will have to oblige you, Captain Redneck. And me and Captain Foley will talk about that. Uh, we, we, we actually communicate fairly regularly now through via Facebook and stuff. So it's weird because I was, I was, and I, I, this is me being a stupid fanboy for a moment, but uh, th this is kind of funny. I was like thinking about, oh, I'd like to reach out to Trek Yards because you know you guys are got such an awesome thing going, and I was thinking do something like Lore Reloaded, but I don't really have a topic or anything. And then you came on my channel, and I was like, holy crap! And so, you know, here we are, and 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 obviously me and Captain Foley get along pretty well, so I hope that we'll be hanging out from time to time. Yeah. Uh, moving forward and 
So, absolutely, I will send him a bottle of his favorite booze. And I know you happen to like the customized Royal Crown. I didn't even know Crown you Royal that. or Kraken. Crown Royal. Kraken Spice Rum is also good, but I, I do like the Crown Royal. Yeah. So, yeah. Yes, but you see, I'm going to have to send you the anti trekker version. So that's that's what. What the poison uh, version? Oh, Make sure I have the anti. Oh 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 oh! Come on hey now. now, come on. Jimmy, 1985, throws five bucks into the chat. Thank you, Jimmy. I truly appreciate it. And said they went back to analog style interface in TOS because aliens hacked them, so they had analog for security yes. measures. Until the is that are you would you say yes is that okay. canonized or there's, something? Or there's you... two reasons for the interfaces on TLS. One is the Third World War really set the the whole computer era back, so it was very simplistic. The second one is that to prevent an enemy from taking control of your vessel and commandeering your vessel, nothing is labeled. It's all labeled with numbers, mm -hmm. and they get updated every week or every month. Um, and so you need to study your communiques from Starfleet Command to know what buttons do what. So that if an enemy does come into your bridge, which is another reason that the bridge is offset so that the captain's chair isn't in direct view of the turbo lift so he can't be shot directly as they enter the bridge, but that's another issue. Um, they can't con control your bridge because there's nothing labeled per se. Everything is labeled with numbers and flashing lights, which changes from week to week or month to month. Yes, absolutely. That's one of the reasons for the TOS interfaces looking the way they do. Um, That's interesting. I didn't yeah. know that one. I haven't heard yeah. that. Um, Josh Street says, Captain Redneck is too good to me. Um, shh. Shh. That's, okay. it's, it's true. Captain, it's yeah. true, but still, Captain Redneck, you up. need to jump on and become... Subscribe to Trek Cards if you haven't already, and join our live streams. I mean, with a hundred, uh, hey, 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 hey. fifty dollars uh, as <laughs> super chats. I mean, come on now. Quiet. But th th oh, we, I did a really interesting super chat live earlier this uh, this afternoon. I'm doing another one tomorrow. I'll probably do Star Trek Online or something. But you guys can join me. So, uh, Darth Kilhoon throws five bucks in as well and says, "Just got off work." Uh, was waiting for you to stream, got banned from Step Back History live stream after I uh, caught him bashing German monarchy and I confronted him. Well, I don't know Step Back History live. No. I've never heard of that, but uh, I also am not a big follower of German history. However, I'm sorry if that happened, my friend, but I'm glad that you're with us now, and I hope your live streams... Darth Kilhoon, by the way, does uh, regular live streams of him playing... Uh, he, he does gaming live streams. I, I suck at gaming, so I don't do that. You do a lot of Star Trek Online, and what's the other game, the Star Trek game that you've been playing uh, Star lately? Trek Adversaries. They, They've actually sponsored yeah. our channel and given us a lot of their 3D models, which are CBS licensed. Um, and we have a new show... Bastard. We have a new show coming out. Uh, soon, which I can't really tell you about, but we've done a pilot for it, and um, hopefully you guys will enjoy it. Um, and then it involves Star Trek adversaries. So I can't, I can't tell you how much I hate uh, some of Captain Foley's successes, but at the same time, actually, I don't hate him for it. I just, I'm just envious. Uh, you're you're but, in but the fold very... now. We will, we will help you. It's fine. Well, thank you. I truly appreciate it, Captain. Um, and reality says no offense, but Canadian whiskey is weak. Why would I take offense to that? You're talking about you can you can talk to Captain. Foley Canadian about whiskey it, but, is you know. superb. I'm sorry to say, our alcohol is much better than yours. No offense. So is our chocolate, but that's another story. I've never had Canadian chocolate. Although the one thing I do really want to try, I, and if I ever get a chance to come up to Canada, uh, and if I ever do, I would love to. You hang are out hanging with out with me, sir. But... Yes, absolutely. Uh, but I, I want to, and you're going to have to find a good place for this. I want to try some really good poutine. Oh, uh, there's the poutinery uh, downtown <laughs> London. They have like 30 different kinds of poutine. Absolutely. Sir. All right. I will. That's, that's one of those things that's like, it's on my bucket list. I want to have some really good poutine. So, um, yes. So you're going to have to show me some serious poutine when Absolutely. I get up there. Just get uh, up here. We'll just have a good time. Mecha Randall's played some adversaries, but terrible at it. Anti Trekker, I hate all y'all's success. Now, first of all, Mecha Random, don't give me that crap because your channel has got more subs than me at okay, this Mecca, point. So, Mecha, you're amazing, <laughs> and you have the the advantage 
dare I say, of having cleavage. I mean, if I should show off my cleavage, I certainly would. Not that anybody would want to see it. Well, you could. It's just that no well, people would be like reacting to Mega Chat number one. Of, one, one, of my, one of my live streams with Sylvia, actually, somebody paid. I forget how much. Just have me take my shirt off. So I was wearing a sh- no shirt and a tie, and my man boobs were hanging out. Not that you needed to hear that, but anyway, um, Mecca, you're amazing. So keep up the good work, and by all means. No, I love I love that Mecca, and and that's the thing. I here's a, uh, and and this is where I measure the success of the Anti Trekker channel, and why I'm so excited about that. Where the channel is now, and the future of this channel, is the fact that I've been able to meet people like Mecca, like Doomcock, uh, like yourself, but also a lot of my regulars here, like uh, Darth Kilhoon, uh, uh, Sci Fi Sith Dan. Uh, reality strikes a lot of these guys that I talk to day in and day out and it absolutely is freaking awesome check your Facebook messenger by the way sorry oh geez what'd you do now Um, but but it's so so freaking awesome to meet all you guys and and to get to know you and so to me that makes this channel worthwhile now the fact that it makes it oh my (laughs) god I need with uh, one of our lives. You you said that I'm always I got such bad humor, and I said okay, I was uh, here. It is guys. I was cut loose on there, my there lives. There's there's oh. Captain Foley man boobs right there. That is lore reloaded material right there. Um, but yeah, the the fact that I know that you know, like I have, and 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 this blows me away every time I think about it, Captain. And I don't know if how it is for Trek Yards because you guys are such a big channel compared to me, but. The um, the fact that I have a, a substantial number of subscribers up in Canada, I have a ton of subscribers in uh, Ireland. I've got several in Great Britain. I've got a couple in in France, particularly Luc Fauvark, who unfortunately is not here. But um, I have people literally all over the yeah. world that regularly come into these live streams. We talk about this stuff. We have a great time, and it's just freaking awesome to be able to get to know you guys. Kronos, um, all men have man boobs, but Kronos uh, is a big supporter of the channel. And, you know, uh, but uh, Captain Redneck, who's over in California, Kronos, I believe, I can't remember where you are, Kronos, but but I have people everywhere. Mm -hmm. And we can cross this cultural divide that we have you know whether you're talking about within the united states the american south the northeast the west coast but then canada europe asia south america like acid designs who's here right now acid designs uh, is, is down with you, by the way message me yeah so but acid designs is in south america we have people derek mcmanus is in ireland and then we have people all over the united states all having this conversation, all joining together as nerds, and proud of it. We are, and and this, and I know I've gone off about this before, but uh, you know, since this is FU CBS Day, uh, this is something CBS doesn't understand. We are the losers. We are the outcasts. We are the people that didn't fit in at some point in our yep. lives for whatever yep. reason, and. One thing that inspired us all, whether it was with the original series or Next Gen or whatever, is that Star Trek, it's not about political left or political right. It's about acceptance. It's not about tolerance. It's not about a political agenda. It is about acceptance of everybody for who they are. And welcome to the fold of the nerds. And I love the fact that we found a format to where we can hang out and we can have a good time and we can and we can talk about the kind of things we're talking about now whether it's just getting pissed off about the design of the constitution class in freaking discovery whatever the hell that thing is or we're just or, or we're just hanging out and and the thing is and and this is another thing about this crowd right now i know for a fact because I've talked to a lot of the people that are in this chat right now on um, in depth. We have some hardcore leftists. We have some hardcore right-wing people. We have some fairly centrist people. We have people from 
obviously multiple countries, and we're all hanging out having a mm-hmm. good time. How freaking awesome it's is that? Amazing. And I think I think you kind of said it all because as you know, if you look at your analytics, it shows you where people are viewing from. And we've got the U.S., right. we've got Europe, a lot of Europe, like Germany, France. Uh, a lot of New Zealand. Hopefully it won't go dark in the near future, thanks to frickin' 13, you idiots <laughs> in France. Yeah. That's right. Um, we got a lot of New Zealand, a lot of Australia fans. Um, it's interesting, the amount of people that talk to me on a regular basis on private message, I've um, got to know a lot of them as friends, and it's great. I mean, yeah, it's, it's simply amazing. And when I was in high school, I didn't dare mention that I like Star Trek. I just put my head down, did what I needed to do and get through the day because I didn't want to get made fun of. Um, but now the nerds, we rule the earth, which is amazing. So yeah, thank you, YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's, not, it's funny because nerd culture has become mainstream, yep. but then at the same time, it's been perverted by mainstream. And that's kind of where I have a problem is that like, you have these mainstream people that are be like, oh, yeah, I like nerds. Discovery is awesome. Okay, then you don't get it. You really don't. If you think that that self-righteous BS that you see on Discovery is what Star Trek is all about, then you don't understand. Star you know, Trek. and I, I, I said this to Doomcock. Doomcock. Doomcock kind of attacked us early on, and I talked to him on Twitter and kind of laid it out. He attacked you guys? Yeah, he did. He's like, don't, you know, I used to watch. Well, because you're nice. I used to, to watch Trek Yards, but once they started talking about Discovery, I tuned out and I messaged him and I said, you know what? We point out the good and the bad. We always have with all Trek. That's one of the reasons we did Star Trek uh, Voyager Threshold to, to do that very thing. Because um, we just call it down the middle, the good and the bad. What, you know, they, they do good things on Discovery, they do a lot of shit things as well. But, and, uh, I told him, you know what, you need to check out our content. And he's, he said the same thing you did. Um, you know, as a resource, you guys are awesome. Just avoid all their discovery talk. And but you know <laughs> what? Discovery, it's new Trek on TV. We feel the need to cover it because it is new Trek. And we are right. we, we know a lot of people behind the scenes with CBS. We know all the designers. We know John Eves, who works on Discovery. Um, so we need to cover that and be as open as we can be. I mean, it's easy to be a faceless supervillain like Doomcock and just bash things. But when your face is out there, like we're talking heads every week, you know, people feel like they know us because they see us every week. Um, and, uh, you know, we need to be a little more diplomatic in the way we approach things, especially considering we know a lot of people at CBS. We know that the CBS guys since day one, have been watching our show. Watching our show has steered them in a few directions. I happen to know this for a fact, but it has steered them in a few directions design-wise, listening to our comments, listening to the fan reaction to our videos. So we need to be straight, straight up with people down the middle. This is good, this is bad, this is good, this is shit. And mm-hmm. I think that's really where Trekyard stands, which is nice, because a lot of people, Doomcock, for instance, Mechorandom, you guys seem to go off on rants about what's so bad about things, that's fine, um, and a lot of people do suck up to CBS, do suck up to the Discovery thing. We don't do that. You know, we, we know people on both sides of that fence, and we try to skirt that line, and I think we do a good job of it. I, I genuinely think you do. Um, I think that some people, and, and, and it's a common problem in nerddom, is that you tend to think that, okay, either you love it or you yep. hate it. There's nothing in between. Yep. And uh, so, I, and I'll admit that I got, I was a little bothered by some of your uh, stuff where you were talking about the USS Enterprise from Discovery like it was an awesome ship. You know, now I get it. It's not a bad design. The more I see it, the more but... I hate it though. <laughs> Honestly, uh, and that's why I'm with music too. If I if I hear a song and I love it right off the hop, I end up hating it. If I hate it off the hop and I grow to love it, that's different. And the Enterprise is the same way. 
Well, we'll talk. Let's talk about that in yeah. just a minute. But first, Iron Wolf nineteen seventy seven threw a five dollar super chat in. I don't want to neglect you because I, I, I'm sorry, guys. I know I'm that, sorry. Uh, I feel bad for kind of being here. No, 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 no. That was a good speech. It really was. But it says I've been uh, a Star Trek fan or a Star Wars fan since I was a little kid. But since I started watching your channel, I started getting the Star Trek. I thank you for that. Thank you so much iron wolf and i know i'm way behind on the on the chat sorry but i no shut up you're canadian stop apologizing you know what it's something we've been taught i'm sorry yeah i i understand that's like isn't that like in canadian school you they just teach you remember say i'm Instead sorry get out of my way it's like i'm just gonna sneak right by you and grab that all right there bye <laughs> And let's see, uh, Darth Kilhoon says, Trek Yards and Anti-Trekker, can we band together as fellow nerds and march on Disney to make them release Star Wars? Here's the thing, it's not, and, and I've said this before, but I want to make it clear, it's not Disney, it's Lucasfilm. And that's something that a lot of people misunderstand. They think that since because Disney bought Lucasfilm, all of a sudden Star Wars sucks. It was in the plans already. Kathleen Kennedy was already taking over Lucasfilm when Disney bought them. And so nothing would have been any different had Disney not bought them. The only difference would be you would see the 20th Century Fox uh, logo instead of the Disney logo in front of the Star Wars yeah. films. And, and so stop pretending it's Disney. It is freaking Lucasfilm. Um, and I give Iger a lot of credit for taking responsibility, but at the same time, uh, he, I, you know, it's Kathleen Kennedy is where the fault ultimately lies uh, with the Star Wars situation. Um, but yes, that being said, I enjoyed Solo personally, but whatever. I didn't think Solo. Well, I, I I gave Solo. I can't remember. I think like a six out of ten, something like that. I didn't think it was great, but I didn't think yeah, it was I'd give it a bad it a seven. I enjoyed it in the theater personally. It's, it's exactly what it's supposed to be. Right, but at the same time, I just um, yeah, I I I think that Solo did suffer because of the Last Jedi, yeah. and I'm glad. I, I'm truly glad because I think that uh, that that Lucasfilm needs to get the message that this is what happened with the Last Jedi is not. Acceptable. Do we have any super chats for picking any of these? Because nobody's been super chatting lately. Um, let me see. Let, oh, I know that because I've been. Uh, you know, we've been on tirades because uh, Jaeger bombed through in the five bucks, but I don't think he threw out a super chat. And if you did, I missed it. So Jaeger, Jaeger, throw out what you want. I've um, done far worse than kill you, anti tracker Oh, don't do it. Don't even I've hurt you. <laughs> Fully! <laughs> you should go on hurting you. I shall leave you as you left me, as you left the commander, marooned for all eternity in the center of a dead YouTube channel, buried in comments. So Iron Wolf wants the lawn master while you're making us. I'm suffer, sorry. So. I'll stop. You haven't played. You haven't no, played my right. clip for the last couple, couple lives, so I figured you lost. Uh, it. Oh, oh, I see how. Oh, you're so full of yourself. No, I, no, no, yeah. no. You said I should be the new Joker, but whatever. It's fine. Uh, it's a, it helps if I click on the right button here. So, let's say Lawn Master. Hello, everybody. Is your front yard now growing according to your plan? Are you unable to eradicate those pesky rebellious crackers? Call us. I am the Lawn Master. And everything will grow according to my design. <laughs> Do it. <laughs> Gotta love the lawn. Master. That's really good. Yeah, I like that. Even though I couldn't <laughs> hear it, it's fine. You you couldn't hear? Well, yeah. Well, that's because you suck. Because I'm Canadian. And yeah, it's it's a Canadian Canadian thing, I guess. Uh, now I just uh, got an orange screen, so I can't see anything. Oh shoot! I'm sorry. That's my bad. Yeah, it is. Fix that. I do that sometimes where I am working on the live stream and I forget to click back to. The, the main screen when uh, Super Chat is done playing 
because I'm an idiot. Hey, I didn't say it. You did. So it's fine. Jagerbomb, Antichecker was hoping to see Here Comes the Wahmen. Well, you know what? Because you guys have been so ridiculously generous tonight, I'll go ahead and throw it out there because I do like that one. Uh, have you seen that one? Yeah, I think you I don't know. I'm a better see. female character than yes. you. You would be if you didn't spend all your time with that temper tantrum meme guy. At least I'm not the one on a show with a questionable acronym. Take it back. No, 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 Yes, no, yes. No. Oh, and it froze up, of course, because why not? All hail PewDiePie and the woman. The woman. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Oops. Sorry to bother you. That boy is thick. Yeah, well, it's Ben Swallow. Oh, right? Yeah. Captain Redneck has taken off. Have a wonderful Goodbye, evening, Captain, Captain Redneck. Thank you very much for all your generous donations so, to the Anti Trekker Fund. Yes, and so maybe I'll have to get Captain Foley to help me out with my worst uh, or most gut-wrenching... I would love to help. Absolutely, absolutely yes. Alright, so we'll, we'll talk about that. Um, so, let's see. <laughs> Jaeger's like, say it again. Uh, that is Ben Swallow, yes. Uh, which, Captain George... Uh, here, here's the weird thing about Captain George. is he is He's a Last Jedi defender. <laughs> You know what? I've been all over the board with Last Jedi. The first time I saw it, I I forget how it went. I hated it, then I loved it, then I hated it, then I liked it, then I tolerated it, then I hated it. But I have it in 3D, so... I, I thought it was okay the first time I saw it, when I saw it in theaters, but the problem was, it was the movie that where I started thinking about it and I started to hate yeah, it. Yeah, exactly. And and it boils down to the fact that they crapped all over the lore. It's it's my same problem with um, with STD. And I know you you're more respectful than me, but I call it STD intentionally. No, it should be called STI. That's the correct term. Sexy transmission, start. transmitted infection, not disease. Because not disease, but whatever. Well, but but I'm just saying. But but since STD is the term used for, <sighs> it's uh, not though. It's disco. No, no, no. I mean for a disease. And I do see this as a symptomatic disease of on track. I do, but I, 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 did you watch my video? When the haters call it STD, they're, they're bringing the Star Trek into it by adding the ST. That's the, I, I understand that, but I, I, and I do get that. But Do you really? I oh. have to. I do. You have to. You, the, the problem is, is that the on the one hand, you have... You're acknowledging that it's Trek, and I hate the fact that it's Trek, but at the same time, CBS owns the rights. It is an official Star Trek production, and even though there are fan films that are far better, like Axanar is a hundred times better than anything we've seen on Discovery, um, but we it, it is official Trek. And and so I don't have a problem calling it STD in the name of call, of acknowledging it's Trek because of the fact that it is Trek. I just hate the fact that it's I know, Trek. But your very argument rests on the fact that it doesn't feel like Star Trek. So don't call it STD. Yes, but it's a disease on Star Trek. And it that's is. the whole point. It is. But it is a specific Star Trek. I, I am sick of the STD thing. It's like. It's like you're 14. Well, sorry, I'm 14. <laughs> don't don't hate me. Don't hate me. I'm sorry. In the meantime, Darth Kilhoon has thrown five bucks into the chat. Thank you so much, Darth, and says, "Then how about a coup, uh, a coup to oust Kennedy and put Jansari one in charge of Lucasfilm and remake Lucas Arts to start over making better games and comics? Not gonna happen. Jansari, I mean, who's that? I, I, if, if, if Jansari one, I assume, and I can't remember because I don't know all the ins and outs of Lucasfilm, but is that the person that's been in charge of like the animated shows like Clone Wars or something? Mm -hmm. um, a lot of people have been talking about how that person should run uh, Star Wars. However, it's not going to happen. Um, what they need to do, and, and, and I don't care about Jansari or anybody else, I just say 
Make a good frickin' movie. Kathleen Kennedy has had her hands in a lot of star, uh, a lot of productions, okay. a lot of awesome productions. And the thing is, is that she's great when she's just the bean counter, when she's the person that's handling the behind the yeah. scenes, running the numbers. She sucks when it comes to creativity because she wants to insert her far left political agenda into everything. Well, she that does. being said, what do you think of the new Ma Mandalorian um, clip that's been released now on? I haven't seen it. Really? So I it looks amazing. Know. The new live action um, Star Wars TV show. So. And Captain Redneck, I, I, I thought you left, but I guess he hasn't left and throws another hundred Holy bucks shit, into the chat. Captain Redneck, oh. join join track guys. <laughs> Follow our live streams, please, for the love of God. Shh, don't join Cap. Don't don't yes, don't please, Captain please, Redneck. Please, please, please. We're we're so much better. You have forty five thousand subs. Oh, come on, yeah, you have forty five thousand subs. You don't need Captain Redneck's hundred bucks. Yes, we do. We only got two pounds, <laughs> and uh, anyway. Anyway, uh, but thank you so much, Captain. It says, Evil Bribe 2.0, include Captain Foley in the top ten list. Make it a collaboration of channels. Yes. All hail the nerds. Yes. We, we will absolutely do that, that because I think Captain Foley and I are, are of a kind in a different from reality. the same cloth. We could be, yeah, we could be friends. <laughs> if, if only he was an American and not an evil You know Canadian. what? I'm more American than Canadian, I think. I think I've come to that real, realization. Uh, Captain George says, tell Trek Yards that you know nothing about Star Wars, all you know is the films. I will say this, and, and, and uh, Captain George is always getting on me about this, because, George. yeah, as far as, as far as extended stuff in Star Wars, you're right. I am a Star Wars, I love, I absolutely love, and I, like I said before, I'm older than Captain Foley. I remember like it was yesterday when... The original Star Wars, and it was not freaking called Episode Four; it was just called Star Wars. When it came out in theaters, I loved that movie. And I and here's the anecdote because you guys know I like to get personal sometimes. So here it is. Back in 1977, I was an absolute addict on Star Trek. I love Star Trek. I watched the original series reruns every freaking day at 7 o'clock on Channel 44, which was a California channel. My parents dragged me, kicking and screaming, to go see Star Wars on a Friday night because I did not want to give up watching Star Trek at 7 o'clock p.m. I was so pissed off. I was upset. I was yelling at my parents the whole way to the theater about how I was missing one of my favorite episodes because I had 79 favorite episodes, apparently, because every night it was one of my favorite episodes. And we went and saw Star Wars. We uh, got out of the theater, and I, I, I remember this like it was yesterday, even though it was 1977. We were walking to the car. I was holding my mom and dad's hand while we were walking there, and I said, you know what? I would give up Star, uh, Star Trek any night to see that again. Now, it's not that I think Star Wars is better than Star Trek, but what an experience that was. It was freaking awesome. So I've been a Star Wars fan from day one. That being said, Captain... Uh, George, I'm talking about, not Captain Foley, who's messing around with his camera, apparently. Um, sure, card. The, it's amazing. So, I honestly love Star Wars with a passion, but at the same time, it's the movies that I love. I don't give a crap about books. I, uh, and, and as far as the animated shows, I'm sure they're no, great, right. but I, I haven't had time to get into The them. EU is amazing in Star Wars. Sorry. There it is. Mm hmm So, Jaeger Bomb throws five bucks into the chat. Thank you so much, Jaeger. You guys have been so freaking generous tonight. Not just Captain Redneck. I know he's been crazy generous, but all you know of you guys, why? thank you so much. Because I'm here. Because you're here? Well, in that case, you need to come onto the channel every freaking day. You know what? I will. On, I love you guys. I love <laughs> hanging out with you guys. And texting, uh, you know, commenting on the videos sucks because by the time you read it, it's like a minute and a half or two minutes later, it's like totally lost. <laughs> the comment that I was trying to say. So being here is awesome. So I gotta, I gotta thank right. you for allowing me to come on. Come on. No, I, it's been an honor. Uh, so Jaeger says, Lord Reloaded says, Yo, who is worse, Alex Kurtzman or Kathleen Kennedy? I feel like oh, Kennedy. Jesus. She, 
she hired Ryan Johnson. May I see Lore flushed? You certainly can. And then now uh, I, I can already see the pain in Captain Foley's uh -huh. eyes. But let's watch Lore get flushed first, and we'll we'll talk. I wish I could hear. Yeah, I don't know what happened to the sound for you, uh, on your side of it. I'm sorry about well, that. But you should you should so know Kathleen from the beginning Kennedy, of this, I stopped the live feed from my video, so there's no live feed on my channel at all. Otherwise, I'd be reading comments and stuff. So okay. So it was nobody like on your channel. Well, there were there were They're quite all... a few that tuned in, but they couldn't hear you. They couldn't hear the dis. What was it? what did I pick? Display capture. For OBS, okay. I couldn't get sound for it, so I said, "Screw it." So we'll have to work on that because yeah. um, it's always fun to hang out with you. And if you can get people showing up on your, I don't know if you've gotten any super chats during the during the time. I didn't get any because it was only on for like a minute and a half, and like I can't hear the oh. other side. I can only hear Captain Foley, so it's like whatever. I even worth. We'll work on it. Well, OBS, that's your problem. You need to get exploit anyway. Oh. Um, so, Kathleen Kennedy versus Alex Kurtzman. Who did more damage? Alex Kurtzman. What's, what's your... Really, you think so? I give a shit about Star Wars, or Star Trek. I don't give a shit about Star Wars, so, yes. <laughs> Alex Kurtzman okay. ruined Star Trek for me, and I hate, hate him, so... Okay. I would say this, is that I get what you're saying as far as you care more about Trek, and I tend to as well, but... As far as damage to the franchise, I would give it to, to Kathleen. I Kennedy. wouldn't. I, I wouldn't. I think the, I think the Last Jedi has done more damage to Star Wars than Discovery has. You know done what? To Star they, Trek. they held true to the Millennium Falcon. The Millennium Falcon looks like it's supposed to. The Kelvin Enterprise is a piece of shit <laughs> compared to this thing. Now you know Captain Foley is has been drinking, which means I have that been. I'm sorry. Uh, I'm sorry. He's probably I'm sorry. he's probably telling the truth right now. I'm just. I saying. am. You can ask me anything. It's fine. <laughs> B Unit seventeen oh one. Thank you so much. Those five bucks in says the name Death Star is not actually used in the original Star Wars film, according to Lore Reloaded. <laughs> Lore Reloaded's an idiot. No, stop! I, I, I love Lore Reloaded. I talk to him every day, pretty much. And he's a good guy, but no trans warp in Star Trek Three, really? <laughs> We've had this discussion today already, and at least four times in that movie is trans warp mentioned. Yes, but I love Lord. I do too. He's, he's amazing. He's, he he's well, and you know, I know him personally. Yeah. He's a great guy. However, I will just say that. Yeah, he's wrong. Um, wrong. In the meantime, B unit, if you do want to super chat, throw it in there. You may have to throw it in a couple times because I'm so far behind. In the meantime, Thomas Potts has thrown another buck ninety nine into the chat. Says Lore is live, so I guess Lore has started his live stream. That's probably why he he actually asked. He texted me early on in this show. Said, "How long are you going to be live?" And I said, "Probably about two hours." And so he's going live because it's been about two hours. Um, and you want number Four, seven? Two. You got it. I don't even know which one number seven is. Oh, it's the Swedish meatballs. Let's get the, that going. The Borg, the Borg, Borg, Borg. Do the Borg in Chippin, Chippin, the Borg. Borgy, come here, Borgy. Chippy, Chippy, Borgy. So. Mecca Random wants to know if it's okay with you that she thinks your wife is cute. Who's that directed to? She, she says, Mecca Random says, Anti Trekker, ask the captain if it's okay if I think his wife is cute. Yes, absolutely. When uh, I met her, she was a redhead with curly red hair like Tilly. And then she's since dyed it blonde. So, yes, absolutely. I have a weakness for redheads, so. But Mecca Random thinks she wants to make sure she's okay. You're okay with her thinking she's yes, okay. absolutely. You okay. need to do a live together. I gotta say. All right, so there you go, Mecca. It's it's okay. It, he doesn't. He's not offended. 
and he's a little drunk, but he's I'm not a little drunk. drunk. Uh, <laughs> dude, you drank half a bottle of freaking what is that? Crown Royal. Yeah, but the Captain um, Foley Signature Edition, Signature Vintage. That's the thing. Now, uh, Captain uh, Captain George, we got a lot of captains around. But here, I'm the most way. important one, uh, obviously. Well, uh, and Captain George says, I'm not uh, much of a defender of The Last Jedi as much as I want to provide the middle ground. I don't want to hate it as much as you do. Uh, and then he says, let's see if he ignores me. I didn't ignore you, number one. However, that being said, Last Jedi it, I'm sorry. If I was as much a Star Wars fan as I am a Star Trek fan, I would as it is, I did a 22-part review of The Last Jedi, ripping it to shreds. I hate that movie. It is a freaking insult to Star Wars. I'm sorry. It, I, I understand you like it, or you, you don't think it's as bad as I do. But at the same time, I hate that movie. I hate everything about it. What they did to the characters, what they did with the lore. Scanning. what they Even, uh, even the just comparing it to the freaking Force Awakens. Oh, now you're playing lore? Yeah, he's live right now. Which you got you can't ignore that. Yeah, but lore doesn't have Trek Yards drunk live. That's your oath. He just spent some Trek Yards. You did, but you're an idiot. <laughs> Trying to shoot. Coach, we do viewers, yeah. No, you didn't hurt the numbers because people love us more. No, than actually, you. yeah, we've been holding steady at about fifty people, yeah. which uh, you know yeah. that's that's just fine. Um, so everybody, okay, so here's what we're gonna do: all fifty of you, right now, go over to Lore Reloaded's live stream and tell him, "Don't worry, we're gonna keep watching Anti Trekker until he's done." Trek Yards is here, <laughs> and Trek Yards is amazing. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Trek Yards is an idiot. No, you can say that. I'm fine with that. That's you know what? Buy uh, our shirt. I, I... It'll be available again soon. I'm just saying. And it's cool. Look I need to get a shirt. shirt. It's even a redhead. What is your thing with redheads? I, I, redheads are my kryptonite. Curly red hair and and Dorian women. I'm sorry. All right, so. Let's see. I'm going to bring up Trek Yards's, uh, or Trek Yards. Uh, I'm going to bring up Lore Reloaded's Super Chat for just a minute. So we, or Super Chat. Man, I'm just losing it tonight. <laughs> I'm sorry. I feel like I've sabotaged your live stream, and I apologize. No. Well, we had fun. That's cool. And so uh, what I'm looking for here is, uh, so, okay. There we go. That's what I want to see. Don't worry. We're keeping watching the Anti Trekker. Thank you, Kyle. Thank you, Captain George. Uh, keep keep it going. Yeah, we got to spam oh, the crap going, out I'm of I'm going. I'm going right now. Hold on. All right. Uh, yeah. We're gonna we're gonna nuke Lord Reloaded. <laughs> so I mean, sure, Laura's got 58 people watching, but you know that's and, and to my 51. You oh, know what? I have 160. So. Just saying. Well, here's the funny thing, and, and I love Laura, as I've said, but at the same time. Uh, you guys support my channel way more than Laura's supporters support him, so I'm I'm cool well, with that. Well, you know what? I love you guys, and hanging out with <laughs> hanging out with you live is really cool because you got a community, and it's really neat. And yeah. I put in some good plugs for you for the upcoming videos that are going to feature you. Just so you know, you were there. <laughs> you saw them. Hey, I'm I'm I, I tell you I'm excited about the fact that you're you're willing to promote my channel a little bit. I I truly do appreciate it. Uh, <laughs> like, but you see, like there's a drunk truck yards over over an anti tracker. We're gonna watch that instead. <laughs> Fuck yeah! <laughs> Sorry, I don't mean to swear on your live stream, but that's all right. I don't swear, but you know what? You you are a guest of honor, so I'm willing. I swore to on my live stream earlier that. today, and I shouldn't have, but whatever. It's, it's, uh, and I do actually. I have said uh, the S word a couple of times. Uh, I, I don't think I've ever dropped the F bomb, but the but basically when I get really worked up, mostly about CBS, I, I have said a few four letter words. Jordan the Trek Lords just scored. Captain George is putting that on. Uh, Lower reloaded. Awesome. Uh, let's see. 
And, and there we go. Lore Reloaded banned Captain George from his live what? stream. Way to go, Captain George. Are you George. kidding? Yeah, he put him in timeout. <laughs> well, he put so Captain all of Captain timeout? George's... That's the question. I need to, I need to push he... his buttons. Hold on. Okay, so Trek Arts and anti Trekkers sent me here. Not sure why. <laughs> this is going to be the most meta live stream in the history of live streams. <laughs> this, um, is, this has been really fun. I want to thank you guys. I don't usually cut loose, but thank you guys so much for the I me too. Trek Yards and anti uh, uh love you, Lore Reloaded says Trek Yards. Okay. What what are you you've been drinking way too much. I have been. Um, you know what? I don't usually drink, so Okay. Um so this this is awesome. We're just watching the word so my live stream has now devolved to I have Trek Yards on watching Lore Reloaded on my live devolved. stream. Devolved. That's <laughs> You mentioned Well, you know, you did you did just do a review of Threshold, so well, that's Thanks because of you, yes. Mm -hmm. And did you watch it? Did you enjoy it? I did. I actually did watch it, and I did enjoy it. And I love the fact that you mentioned about eight times throughout the show that I wasn't watching it live. It's important. I thought you would, but you were live at the same time. So I was like, for fuck. I mean, for crap's sakes. Sorry. <laughs> wow. Dropping the F-bomb on my channel. I do oh. that all the time on my channels. I did it today. I did it with the, with the Thresholds video. I'm like, what's with... Let's see, Mecha Random says, Trek Yards, next time you get hammered, I'd love to see you on my stream. She says that on Lore Reloaded stream. <laughs> uh, tell Trek Yards that being put in timeout, it was worth it. Oh, absolutely, uh, Captain George. I'd love it. Lore looks like Thomas Riker from Second Chances. <laughs> Sterling Colonel is in the house. Good to see you. So right now we're kind of trolling Lore Reloaded. So everybody, I want you to keep keep chatting. Keep you know, you want to spam the crap out of Lore Reloaded stream right now and tell them how awesome the anti trekker is and that it's so amazing the Trek Yards is live on anti trekker right? and he is and he's drunk. You know what? I'm um, not drunk. Trek oh come Trek on! Yards is not drunk. Captain Foley is drunk. There's a difference. Oh, I, okay. You're right. You're right. Captain Foley of Trek Yards. Is That's drunk. true. You don't want to involve Samuel in this because he'll be like, "How dare you?" He's all British and proper and shit. Well, you know, British people, they they they're are they born with a stick up their ass? Is that how it they're works? born with a silver spoon up their ass? It's okay. a little known fact. And let's see. Great to see you live on the anti trekker. <laughs> <laughs> Where's Punchy the Wonder Cat? asked Derek. <laughs> stream is so much better. <laughs> Anti Trekker stream is so much better than Lore Reload. What? I need to go over there then. <laughs> no, 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 no. What he said is um, uh, that my stream is better than oh, his. Okay. That's Good, what yeah, he's absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Trek yours is just drunk <laughs> and Anti Trekker sent me. Wow. I'm not drunk. This is like the... I'm just. Yes, I am. I am. Come on, I can feel it a little bit, and I've been drinking Bromule and Ale. You've been drinking pure, freaking. What what is that stuff Crown exactly? Royal. Yeah, it's so amazing. What's a, check it out? What's the proof on that? Um, it is forty percent. <laughs> oh man. You guys are you guys are being so oh this is just the most insanely crazy night I love it. Uh, <laughs> this is fun. I got to admit. You. Tonight uh, live on the Anti Trekker is uh, at Lore Reloaded. <laughs> yeah, that's true because Lore Reloaded is now on the Anti Trekker live stream. I'm Why really is he not joining your live streams? I don't understand. Like you guys are friends and. <laughs> Mecca Random says she has a bottle of tequila next to me and I can't drink it. Why can't you drink, drink it, Mecca? It. Drink it and join us. Become one yes. with the, the anti trek I mean, I'm not wasted like, like Captain Foley. I'm not wasted. Is, but, you, know. you know what? I hardly ever get drunk because I'm Canadian and I'm nice. But you know what? Yeah. I thought this was a fun occasion. I thought I'd do it. And I don't have anything to do tomorrow so I can sleep in. So screw you guys. 
Derek says anti trekker is awesome even with an inebriated Captain. I'm not inebriated. <laughs> Screw you guys. Yeah, you are inebriated, man. I, I probably slurred my words a little bit. I apologize. Yeah. You can ask me anything, I'll uh, be honest. <laughs> yeah, see so where you how often are you gonna hear that? Uh Captain Foley is gonna be honest. <laughs> Oh, man, this is just a crazy night. Um, uh, tonight on the Anti-Trekker, we have Lore Reloaded Talking Discovery. I don't even know what Lore's talking about. He's completely changed his interface, but he does that like every couple of weeks. So, All right, so let me, let me, let me, uh, we'll, we'll stop spamming Lore. And meanwhile, you're on the phone. Are you typing another comment to the anti uh, to I am, Lore? yes. Okay. Well, Captain Foley's drunk. Which I can't seem to spell. <laughs> wow. Well, for good reason, because you, you drank a half a bottle of Crown Royale. Which you um, think is shitty Canadian liquor, but it's not, clearly. Because... <laughs> so, Man in the Black Hat says, Captain Foley is not inebriated. He has three sheets to the wind. Oh, wait, are those solar sails? They're solar sails, and it's truth serum. So ask me anything. Wow, you you heard it. You know, Captain Foley's insisting that you ask him anything. So any questions? You know what? This is gone. As long now. As... Thank you very much. That was that's a lot of booze, man. Are you okay? I'm perfectly fine. Okay. <laughs> this is gonna be one of those live streams. Where you're gonna come back and watch it in a couple of days and go, oh, crap, you better not. I you better. I, I certainly won't watch <laughs> it again. That's for sure. <laughs> Uh, Trekyards, uh, you've told Lord you love him twice already. You're not sober, maybe not drunk, but not sober. No, I admit I'm feeling. I look, this was a full bottle of Romulan ale, and I've drank and, and you over know what? half of it. So. I'm empty, and <laughs> this was over yeah. half full. So I, I, yeah, I admit I'm feeling it, but I'm nowhere near the level of Captain Foley. I don't so. drink very often, and usually when I do, it's with London Batman, and we do a live. So you you should be honored that you're doing a live with Captain Foley while he's inebriated. Why isn't the commander on the stream? Well, for him, it's like, what, 6 o'clock in the morning or something? Or 8 well, o'clock in the morning? 6 o'clock in the morning for him. Yeah. Five hours ahead of us. And he's just standard time. Yeah. 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 Um, and so Derek says, I'm drinking and it's 6 a.m. in Ireland. Well, that's because you're Irish. I'm Irish. Saying you're drinking. I'm mainly Irish, partly Scottish, and a little bit of German. So I, I feel your pain. So brother. so you're a drunk who wants to take over? No, the I'm world. A, I, okay. I'm mainly Irish and mainly German, which means everything must be done perfectly tomorrow. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Trekyards, you really love Threshold that much. I hate Threshold so with a passion. I love the first like 10, 15 minutes of it. It's an amazing concept. It should have been a two-parter, but no. It's an awful, awful episode. <laughs> uh, Rainbow One says, watch out, Lore Reloaded may raid us back. That's possible, but I doubt it. Nobody nobody uh, likes Lore Reloaded as much as Anti-Trekker. So. <laughs> I'm, going on, wow. I'm going on record. I love Lore Reloaded. Don't get me wrong. He's a good guy. But Anti-Trekker is my friend, so it's fine. Wow, well, see, you hear it here first, guys. So it's official. The Trek Yards endorses me above Lore Reloaded, even though Lore Reloaded's got like five times my. And he was first on Trek Yards. You had to like yeah. weasel your way in because I heard you mention. I didn't Lord. weasel my way. You invited you, me. You. <laughs> the seed was planted in my ear like a seti eel by Lore Reloaded, <laughs> Anti Trekker, Anti Trekker. I'm like, what the. F what the hell is Anti Trekker? I gotta go check this out. I checked it out, and I love your live streams. You have a community, and I spilled liquor on myself. <laughs> <laughs> and I love it. I love hanging out wow. with you guys. It's fun. So, well, We love having you. Darth Kilhoon throws five bucks into the chat. Says, Captain Foley, what do you think of Justin Trudeau? Also, I am uh, live stream tomorrow night. Uh, anyone wants to join me? I can't. I'm Star Wars Old Republic, and I can never remember HOI4. If anyone wants to join me on Friday and Saturday nights, no, yeah, I... absolutely. Although you sh shouldn't join them on Saturday nights because I'm doing a live stream, but Friday nights, absolutely hang out with him. You know what? I don't follow politics. I don't give a flying fuck about politics. 
So Justin Trudeau is that is that a political person that he was talking about? Justin Trudeau is our prime minister. Yes. Okay. Um, he's cool because he likes sci-fi, but I don't understand any of the politics. I don't understand what he follows. I don't care. It doesn't affect me. My opinion doesn't matter. So whatever he can do, what he wants. I like him. So because he likes sci-fi, so he's a good guy. Mary wants to know what is the square root of twenty-five. Wouldn't that be five? Five, yes. Yeah. Okay. I, 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 maybe she's testing to see if I'm completely wasted. I am, unfortunately. I need to stop. Yeah, I, I know I you. I have are, no alcohol but... left, so it's fine. Yeah, it's fine. We're gonna see if <laughs> Trek Yards, unfortunate, with the memorial service for Captain Foley will be this Saturday. <laughs> he's died of you know alcohol. You can, you, can, you can ask me anything. This is the perfect lie detector. Don't ask me anything. No, don't don't ask him anything too embarrassing, guys. Um, Shatner for prime minister. That would be awesome. Shatner is an idiot. Look, I oh. love Shatner. Okay, he's he's Kirk. But when I go to a Star Trek convention, I don't want to pay eighty dollars to hear about his damn horse charities and his new projects. <laughs> that can be the last ten minutes of his talk. I want to hear about Star Trek. I went to a Star Trek convention. I paid money for Star Trek. Give me Star Trek. I don't want to hear about your horse charities. Uh, meanwhile, Thomas says Lore was playing my stream. So was he playing it while I was playing his stream? Because that would be just that's too meta. Cool. Wow. But. Yeah, wants number two. You got it, my friend. Let's get number two up and running for you. And then I got to tell you my Shatner story. The Shat. All right, so... Uh, and thank you, Thomas. I tr do truly appreciate it. But, uh, Captain, yes. you, um, now I assume since you talked about, you saw Shatner, I assume, did you do like the photo op or the autograph thing? I've met him a few know? times, yes. Okay. So I met him once, and that, this was a couple of years yep. ago. And I've told this story a couple of times, so for those of you that have heard this, I apologize, but I, I, was, I don't think that you've heard this. So... Here was my experience with William Shatner. Now, I've never had a particularly high opinion of William Shatner. I've always heard he was a dick. I've always heard that he was a prima donna. I've always heard that he, you know, he was kind of a jerk to everybody else on Star Trek. Yes. And that's always been his reputation. And so uh, at the Comic-Con in Nashville a couple of years ago, he was showing up. I bought the VIP pass so that I could do the autograph picture. And by the way, I have... Not only an autographed picture of William Shatner, but an autographed picture. I have an autographed. Uh, I have an autographed Star Trek comic book from 1972 that includes a 45 RPM record. Oh my God! Called uh, called the Journey to Moreau, I believe. I'm probably mispronouncing it, but yeah. But that was the first Star Trek comic book, and William Shatner actually, when he signed it, he says, "Oh crap! I remember recording this," but. Uh, here's the thing. So I, I, waiting in line to get the photo op with William Shatner, and on my Facebook uh, is a picture of me and Mrs. Anti Trekker with William Shatner uh, as one of the. I was very proud of that moment. Anyway, we're um, we get up to the line, and it's my turn to. Uh, actually, I'm sorry, not the photo op, but it was actually the first time I went through the autograph line, and uh, it's like I'm I'm next in line, and I'm thinking. Holy crap, I'm about to meet my childhood hero. Yep. And what am I going to say to this guy? And I knew I only had a few seconds to talk. Never meet your hero. And so, right. and so I get up there and I'm handing him the comic book, or not the comic book, this first time. So it was a photograph. I handed it to him to sign. And I said, Mr. Shatner, I know you don't have time to talk to me, but I just want to say, thank you so much for all the work you've done. I truly appreciate it. It's inspired me and I know it's inspired countless others. And so then he stopped and he looked at me for a second. He just kind of stared at me for a second. Then he kind of leaned over and looked at the line behind me and there are literally, you know, a couple thousand people in line 
most of which are not going to get be able, have time to get his autograph. And then he looked back at me again, and he said, "What? I've got all the time in the world. What do you want to talk about?" And I was like, "Holy, what? Did he just seriously say that?" And so then he and I talked for about three or four minutes. And it was me, not him, that ended the conversation and said, look, I don't want to take all, you know, there are a lot of people that are desperate to meet you and I don't want to take away from them, but thank you. You, you know, And so I say to all those people that say what a dick he is, F you, because he was the kindest person I met for such an A-list celebrity. I was blown well, away. My mother's cousin danced with him at the Star Trek Fest or the uh, Stratford Festival way back early on when he was just a nobody. Uh, so it's, it's, it's interesting. Oh my God, I've had too much to drink. You have. You have to really have too no, much. No, I haven't. I'm fine. <laughs> but yeah. Um, so interesting story. I'm okay. I'm just going to drive now. <laughs> I'm going to drive home. It's okay. Listen, Ossifer, it's fine. No, I'm just kidding. Um, but yeah, uh, Shatner was at the Stratford Festival with um, Christopher Plummer, actually, which for, from Star Trek, Star Trek Six. Um, yeah. So Thomas Potts throws another buck ninety nine into the chat. Thank you so much, Thomas. I truly do appreciate it. And says, remember, Shatner Christmas album is coming soon. Yes. I cannot wait. I am so going to buy yep. that because his his ridiculously bad music is so fun to listen to. And so, uh, but once uh, number twelve, I don't even remember which one number twelve is, but I'm going to bring it up because uh, it's oh yes, the classic. What would happen if a stormtrooper in a red shirt actually got in? Heart attack! Well, that was easier than I expected. This is going to be a great day. And now, off to my first day of work on Endor! <laughs> I do love that I wish one. I could do this uh, Yeah, well, it's not my fault you're OBS or whatever. Skype is an idiot. Reality says, Lore blocked me, couldn't send him a two super chat, so he sent it to me, Reality. Well, in that case, thank you so much, and I will remember to not give it to Lore, because he blocked you, so he doesn't want your two what bucks. What is wrong with Lore? But I am, I don't know, but I'm more than happy to take your two bucks. Why did he block, what, were you saying something mean to him? That's, I mean, Reality, I know we're friends, uh, we've, I've actually met Reality a couple of times, but, come on, were you being mean? Were you being? I, I, I'm you not going to go back and watch Lore's live stream. So I, I like Anti Trekker. I like Lore. I don't know why Lore doesn't follow or join your live streams. Because he's got his own live streams to do. True, but he's like a celebrity over here. He's like he's when I talk to him, he's like I make Anti Trekker so much, so much coin because of the. Uh, the well, I do make fun of him. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> um, and it's funny because, let's see, let, uh, if we look at what's currently, we have feces and lorehead, lore flush. <laughs> um, let's see, what else has... Brokeback YouTubers, yes, that one has him in it. Birth of Anti-Trekker has him in it. Um, lore Unmasked, obviously, is all about him. Cheap Bleach is all about so him. Lore... So he's in a lot of my. And I gotta things. ask, where is the Cap and Foley or the Trek Yards animations? Well, I've actually been trying to figure out what to do, other than like to have you talking and have a bunch of people falling asleep. Uh, really? Yeah. You, know. you said I should be. <laughs> the that's next, not the only. I should be the next joke. That's the only bad thing I hear. That's the only bad thing I hear about you is oh, a, is that you're boring. Because w here's the thing: when you and Cockings are doing your show. And it's extremely informative, but some people think it's boring. Really? Yes, really. And, and it's okay. It's it's I not write those the, it's because I feel insulted. Well, you shouldn't, because here's the thing: your shows are not meant to be uh, zany, funny, that kind of entertainment. You watch my lives. Yours, 
Well, I, I'm not talking about your live streams. I'm talking about your 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 regular shows where you break down ships and stuff like that. They're meant to be informative, and they are. Okay. Um, all right, and so and that's the thing. They, if I want to know the information on a Constitution class starship, you are the first place I'm going to go to look for information. That being said, if I want to see some zany antics, you're the last person I think. Really? Yes. Uh i am being watch my lives. I'm me in my lives. I'm not Captain Foley. All right. Well, we'll see. Uh, so, so you heard it from him, guys. So, if you think he's boring, check out his live streams. Apparently, right. they're they're hilarious. Yes. Although, uh, from what I understand, Captain Foley's idea of hilarious and my idea of hilarious are two very different Canadian, things. But what? I'm Canadian it's Canadian, Canadian hilarious, exactly. which. It, Canadian Hilarious is, what, about 16.8% uh, less than American Hilarious. That's right? true. <laughs> I mean, that's not true. Wait a minute. Whoa, that's the currency. Don't even start. Uh, we got, we got beavers and poutine. Well, you do have the poutine. Oh, let's see. You need to come up and have some poutine. I will treat you. So, by the way, I just got a text message from Laura Reloaded, oh, who says, "Checking to see if I blocked reality. I don't ever remember doing it." Wow, what an idiot! <laughs> Stop it! He's not it. <laughs> I love you, Laura Reloaded, but you did block her or block them. Obviously. It's a it's it's a him. Him. Real, reality strikes right. Um. Uh, Mary says, ask him why his redhead wife would dye her hair blonde. I was wondering that myself. If she's got red hair, why would she dye it blonde? Is this Sylvia we're talking about? Well, is that your yes, wife, it is. right? Um, well, she dyed her hair blonde or red when she first met me, which is a bitch because I fell in love with that. And she went blonde, which kind of sucks. But I'm used to the blonde now. It's fine. She's actually a brunette. In real life. So she dyed it red, but then she dyed it blonde. Yes. Okay. Which... So she's always been fake. Right. <laughs> Damn. Just make it clear. I'm going to divorce him now. Thank you, Anti-Trekker. So here, live on the Anti-Trekker, we've ruined Captain Foley's marriage. Uh, Mr. Miles says, Anti-Trekker, why would you trust an actor based on how nice he's acting? He's paid professional liar about Shatner. Um, I, I understand what you're saying, but generally speaking, when you go to a con, you get a chance to meet the real person to a certain extent. I mean, I, I know some people put on a face, but you can kind of see that. Like, for example, Jonathan Frakes puts on a face. Really? Um, I, at least he did it in Nashville. He certainly did. However, LeVar Burton was totally real. Okay. I gotta uh, say, when I met Jonathan Frakes in Las Vegas. He was a gentleman. I'm like, Jonathan. I got a picture. I snapped a picture of him. He posed and everything. When I met LeVar Burton at London Comic Con last year, he was a complete dick. He's like, I don't want to talk about Star Trek. You know, you got this Trek Yards business card that's fine, but I don't care. By the way, we have breaking news. Uh, Reality Strikes is now officially unblocked from Lore Reload. Yay! So... Um, so anyway, but no, uh, I say, uh, LeVar Burton was real. I'll tell you the, the people I had the most fun with, and I don't know, did you watch the BSG remake? Uh, part of it. Yes. Okay. So Jamie Bamber, who played Apollo and Michael Trucco, who played Anders, um, on that show, they were freaking awesome. I hung out with them at the Nashville comic and there was nobody in line for their autographs because William Shatner was there. And I hung out with them for a couple of hours just talking. And the next day, uh, we were walking around the floor, and I was walking with Mrs. Antitrekker and Joshua, my son, and we were just kind of walking around looking at the vendors. And they were coming off of their autograph session. Jamie Bamber, the guy that plays Apollo, looked, because they were finishing up their autograph session, and a security was escorting them off the floor. He saw me and said, Oh, hey, Michael. And so then 
I in, I got a chance to introduce Mrs. Anti Trekker to him, saying, "Oh yeah, let me introduce you to my wife, Mrs. Anti Trekker. This is Jamie Bamber, yeah. the actor from Battlestar Galactica." You know, and it's like so cool because he, you know, we we not only hung out for a while, but then he actually remembered me the next day by name, and it was just such a uh, an amazing experience for me. And Michael Truco was there too. We just uh, and. Uh, here's the thing, my son uh, Joshua. Now I, I, I think I've, I don't know if I told you or not, but he's autistic. Yeah, he's and uh, did I tell you about the whole thing with the English yes. accent? Okay, so so you know he speaks with an English accent. He loves in the English accent. And when Jamie Bamber is from England, and when when we met, uh, when I introduced him to uh, to Joshua, and Mrs. Antitrekker, Joshua just looked at him and said, "You have an accent." And then Jamie Bamber just looked at him and said, "So do you." And it was just a, it was just a cute little moment. I wish I had a video camera going. <sighs> All right, guys, it is getting ridiculously late. Um, <laughs> and, and I can see it looks like uh, Trek Yards is going to pass out in his chair. Um, Not at all. Okay, well, I'm, I'm, I, I gotta say, I absolutely had a blast hanging out with you, and I know that uh, most of the audience enjoyed it as well. Um, and so, thank, thank you to every one of you that has stuck with me throughout the Enjoy. show, and those of you that have helped this channel grow. Thank you, Captain Foley, for joining me. I truly appreciate it more than I can Thanks say. Thanks for having me on. Uh, absolutely. And uh, so now you know that sometimes when the credits go, that doesn't necessarily mean the show's it's over. True, but. Uh, we're, well, and reality strikes just threw ten bucks into the chat. Like, uh, it says once a week we need to have a revolving commentator like Trek Yards in this live yes. stream. Well, there you go. All right. Well, Trek Yards is always welcome because he's royalty in my opinion. So, thank you, uh, sir. Yeah, but in the meantime, reality. Now you get you get to close us out with a choice of super chat reward. So, what do you want, Don't reality? You didn't throw that into your. You're going to hurt Captain Foley's feelings if you pick number one. I know you tend to do that a lot. So so can you pick something other than Super Please. Chat number one? And we wait for his response. This is the annoying thing about the 30-second delay. Oh, man. Uh, Kronos wants to know if the printer's completed yet. No, I still have, I'm still working on it. It's going to take a, probably a couple of days. This thing is a monstrous beast, and it's going to take me a little bit of time to get it. Together. I need to get it through. So, reality wants Mega Chat number three, which is m one of my favorites. So let's get I may that have up a here. Whoops, that would be Mega Chat number right? one. Right? I don't want to see that shit. In the great hall of the Justice League, there floats the world's four greatest turds. Created from cosmic indigestion, Super Turd! Wonder Turd! Bat Turd! Aqua Turd! And those two junior super turds, Lore Reloaded and Punchy the Wonder Cat. All right, I do love Lore. By the way, I am actually working on. Uh, Joshua has built a character sheet for me to make a 3D model of Punchy the Wonder Cat. So Speaking of which, and, and when is Trek Yards getting an animation? I'm working. You asked me that like three times already tonight. I think you've been drinking a little more than you, you should. You know have. what? This was uh, half full. I gotta say. Ooh. Yeah, you, you're 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 a little too wasted. Lore Reloaded throws ten bucks into the chat. What? Uh, Hi, Lore. Is he still live? Uh, it, it says reality is unblocked. Yeah, and Lore, I don't know if you're listening right now, Lore, but if you are, I already said that. Yes, you sent me the text message that reality is unblocked. Not sure why I trigger what why I got triggered and blocked him. We need to find a video where Mrs. Anti Trekker shoots me with a sniper rifle. Oh, that's a good one. I I don't know where that video is, but yeah, there there was a video where Mrs. Anti Trekker actually shoots Lore with a sniper rifle. Um. And he's going to sleep. So, Lore Reloaded. Love wow. You, Lore. He, have a good night, Lore. Um, 
Thomas throws 499 in the chat says, and if you stay on long, uh, Captain Foley will strip and dance. Um, no, 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 we, oh, uh, uh, let me, let me switch. Uh, uh, sorry. Well, why wait. are you switching to something? I'm to And I have to say that, um, you know, as, as painful as it was to see Trek Yards try to remove his shirt there oh. on this live stream, at least it wasn't as bad. You're not as hairy as Lore Reloaded. So I'm he's... evolved. Stop! I'm... Stop! Stop! I'm evolved. Ugh. I have no hair. It's natural. Oh, my God. This is just getting weird. Derek throws a couple of pounds into the chat. Thank you, Derek. Uh, I don't know what's wrong with Trek Yards. I really don't. I don't either. But this, this, this is wrong. Wow. <laughs> this is like, we, 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 we have now learned don't get a Canadian drunk. That's just like. You know what? Usually <laughs> I'm good with my alcohol, but tonight, wow, I didn't expect this. <laughs> Sci-Fi Sis says, well, you don't need to work tomorrow with all these super chats we give you. You know, I, I wish that were, I wish that were true. Thanks. Um, yeah, but uh, you know, unfortunately, one good. And by the way, you guys have been ridiculously generous, and I truly appreciate yes. it. But but it, it really requires. If my channel were the size of Captain Foley's, I might be able to get away with it. Shit, but right now, here. I just can't. Because and this is the honest truth about it, is that super chats are awesome. Super chats are nice, and I love it because it helps support the channel yes. and it helps get things set up. But. If I'm going to depend on income from the channel, it needs to be based on the view, the views of the videos, not on super. Amen, chains. brother. Uh, yeah, but uh, thank you all that have been so ridiculously generous. In the meantime, I'm going to try to get to the credits this time. But thank you all for having, uh, for being so generous and being so awesome. And super chat. For some reason, putting up with Captain Foley taking out his shirt what? a couple I'm of awesome. times. He's drunk. I am extremely drunk. <laughs> I'd buy that what? for a dollar. <laughs> Tip jar. So, uh, Mary says I missed a super chat. Did I? Oh, uh, crap. Oh, I... I've been distracting you, and I apologize. I feel bad for joining that's, in the super chat. That's all right. That's all right. Uh, so, who did I miss one for? I see Iron Wolf threw one in just now. Uh, Acid says if Captain Foley wants shirtless, anti checker should. No, I'm not going shirtless. Why Sorry. not? I'm, I'm not. It's, it's, I'm not it's bold free. like you. Stop it! <laughs> when is Trek Yards' next live stream? I don't know. You'd have to ask Trek Yards. When is your li next live stream? Uh, tomorrow. I'll do one tomorrow. I don't know what I'm going to do, but I'll do it tomorrow. Afternoon. Okay. There you go. But it will not be as fun as this because he probably won't be drunk and. You know, he, he's I'm gonna, not drunk now. It's he, fine. You know what? He's just going to be passed out in a pool of his own filth. Um, uh, Derek, uh, I did see. Yeah, Derek did throw the super chat in there, but I didn't see him ask for a reward. Uh, so, Derek, you of course can, and I apologize if I missed it. So, uh, Derek and Iron Wolf both have the right to pick a super chat. Uh, Iron Wolf picked one, number seven. So, let's get that going. Before we get to see him mm -hmm. naked again. Bork, bork, bork. Right. 
de de borg in chipping chipping de porg. Porgy, come here, porgy. Chuppy, chuppy, porgy. And apparently, Mary says that he picked number five. Thank you for looking out for me, Mary. I truly appreciate it. And here we go with the turtles. <laughs> What? Is this right? Alright, so reality saying I owe him two super chats. I don't remember that I owe you two super chats, but if I do, I do. But you do, you're not requesting them right now, so what's going on with that? In the meantime, we're going to try to get out of here. You have a great night. <laughs>
I am the Lawn Master, and everything will grow according to my design. <laughs> Do it! <laughs> Captain Foley has come back to whatever that was. In it's the meantime, official. we need Uber Chat number four. I, I don't know what, what's going on there, but. Well, um, all right. Well, let's beam down to the planet. Um, energize, Mr. Scott. Aye, Captain. <laughs> Welcome aboard the USS Discovery. There's, there's got to be some kind of other universe, right? Please, send me back. Oh my god, send me back. I beg you, no, send me back. Oh. And say what you want, though, reality about Canadian whiskey, but, I mean, you know, Cap Captain Foley looks like he, it, the Canadian whiskey definitely has its, it's effect pretty on plast him. I'm pretty plastered, I gotta say. I'm usually not this drunk, ever. Even from our live streams. Wow. I love you guys. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm sorry. Spoken I'm like sorry. a true drunk. Sorry. 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 Gotta say. Sorry. 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 Yes, that's the Canadian national anthem is sorry, sorry, I'm sorry. We are so sorry. Please forgive us. Right? Sorry, sorry, sorry. I love you guys. You guys that's... are awesome. So. I love you, man. All right, guys, I don't know what. Captain Foley's losing it. You have a great night and take care of yourselves. It's the anti-checker. We will return to your scheduled programming shortly, or we are currently experiencing technical difficulties. And so, since I forgot Josh, here, here you go. I'm a better female character than you! You would be if you didn't spend all your time with that temper tantrum meme guy. At least I'm not the one on a show with a questionable acronym. Take it back! No, 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 yes, no, yes, no, no, yes, no, yes, no, yes, no, yes, 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 yes! Oops. Sorry to bother you. And just what I thought I was gonna get out of I'd buy got... that for a dollar! I have got something better! Tip jar. Tip jar. Yes. Yeah, the, people call me the tip jar. That started with uh, uh, King Waspinator started accusing me of just being on YouTube to make money, and he, he made this crack about me being a tip jar. And Love it. Yeah, I'm a huge uh, Beast Wars fan, so. Yeah, that's actually where he got some, I didn't know that one. Cause really? I that, I, I, yeah. Sorry, I, I, I like G1 Transformers a little bit, but keep in mind, I am older than you. So for me, when Transformers I, came out, I was a little little old for it. I hated Beast Wars, but they pulled in Trent G1, so I like this, so that's fine. All right. However, the um, this is the tip jar, and so the uh, it's basically my head done in Futurama style in a tip jar, so bam. Uh, so Reality throws a buck in there and wants to see number 11. You got it, my friend, because why not? I'm not getting any sleep tonight. Sir, we are being hailed on screen. What is your problem? <laughs> I am Lore. I am. Lore. Do you need help? I need. I have a YouTube channel. My YouTube channel is Lore Reloaded. Let me guess, their rubber band broke, right? I make YouTube go.
I do love me that one, and I gotta admit that proves that Lore has a sense of humor. You need to you need to change that to Trek Yards. What to have you be a pack? Yes. You you don't seem like the Packlid type. Really? No, Lore looks like a freaking Packlid. You do not look like a Packlid. Thank you. You look like a college professor. Oh right, I need the leather elbows on my jacket. You you need to have well you need to have like a sweater vest and a shirt a and tie. Pipe, a that, pipe? No, just a sweater vest and shirt and tie. You're too nerdy for a pipe. All right, guys, I'm gonna try once again to get off here, and you well that didn't come out right, but I'm gonna try to end the show now. You have a wonderful because yeah, with with the stuff, the weird stuff that Trek Yards, uh, Captain Foley has been doing here. Uh, he yeah, that's just kind of weird. You love um, me, you know you do. Do techno babble for Star Trek, interferometric. Bam, they actually. Uh, you remember that? Oh, that was one of my least favorite uses of techno babble. Interferometric is literally in science is a measurement of the amount of interference caused by something, and in Voyager they said, "Ooh, the the enemy ship is projecting an interferometric something that's interfering with their." Uh, It's the Anti-Trekker. We will return to your scheduled programming shortly, or we are currently experiencing technical difficulties.